Okay, guys, we are live. Uh, so for those listening at home, welcome to the Dungeon Musings YouTube channel. My name is Kevin Madison, and I'll be your friendly Grim and Perilous Master today, because today we are carrying on with our ongoing campaign of playing uh, Cubicle 7's outstanding Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition. And uh, with me today, oh, we are playing uh, our campaign of Salt, Silver, and Sin, which makes a great deal of use out of the excellent Salzenmund city of salt and silver uh, source book uh, and with me today are the stars of the uh, salt silver and sin campaign i'll go the order i've got you guys on the screen here why don't you tell us who you are and who you're playing today first up uh, we've got darren uh yeah darren here i'm playing alwyn colson who is our he's not a lovable rogue he's a lovable outlaw he's got his trusty but not so useful family pet astrid <laughs> nice it is thematic to have a dog that is adorable but not really listening uh so uh next up is sean hey i'm playing thognoth barrickson a dwarf of the crag forge clan that is an iron breaker awesome uh next up is colin aka spike pit hello there yeah i am playing frederick schuster of the sousenmund schusters a famously um prolific um family of Sousenmund. wait frederick is from the the schusters the schusters oh wow yes indeed huh. i had no idea amazing <laughs> and last but certainly not least is carl so i am playing kateria katarina of shalia she's a priest of shalia um she's legitimately a priest of shalia but hasn't been like invested yet mm. i guess nice then guys last couple of times we have been spending our time in uh the lovely uh city of olden Leeds, which is to the west of uh souls and moon let's take a peek at uh, the map of nordland once again so we are presently right here in i think it's there area right here old and late and what do you guys recall about your time in uh old and late and i think it's right here mm. let's see do i have that did i guess it right i did okay what do you guys recall over the last couple of times since you've uh, come to Olden Leeds? As a reminder, Olden Leeds is a uh, city that is built uh, on a island connected to the mainland in a uh, or in the I mean a lake or in the river uh, that um, is uh, connected by a land bridge, uh, and then it has high walls and higher buildings uh, built up on the limited space that's in there. So for a small city, it definitely has the suffocating quality of a larger uh, city. What brought you here in the first place? And what's happened? Uh, well, what brought us here is we're, it's on our route, really, to Salzenmund. Yep. Um, the reason we're turning there is, well, to collect our pay for our, our previous quest that went a little bit sideways, to say the least, mm -hmm. um, escorting the families. But um, whilst traveling back, we did pick up a unknown package from a a traveling man or a um what would he be called um courier courier yeah uh courier who was taking this unknown package back to salzman to some sort of river river woman or someone who lived on the river or boated yeah. on the river yeah um uh and during that time we've discovered why we were left this package or how we were left this package because it seems to be a cursed item or something of dark magic um which it seems to be is the case that killed the previous courier uh oh uh, well who's carrying we... it now i mean that that surely that doesn't bode ill for whoever is carrying that package uh alwyn is currently under that task mm. after taking it off of Katarina after she started Hold on, to I need to quickly bit. just scribble something down in a sinister way. One second here. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Carry on. 
Uh, I think Alwyn was just about to pass the parcel, as it were, to Fognorth to take over the duty of carrying it. But um, <laughs> oh, we'll, come to, oh. we'll come to that shortly. The proverbial <laughs> short straw. <laughs> I see. Um, no, you, you probably won't do that. But um, yeah, so we've been trying to work out what this is, this item, and we've been debating whether we want to go to Solzamund and bring this item closer to its final destination or if we want to try and work out what it is first um what have you learned about the package thus far um it seems to be connected to this uh horrible necromancy was it some sort of cult religion dar right we've been told that uh, uh, yeah the wind yeah, of dar the uh wind of dar the uh, power of necromancy Dark necromancy, mm. as opposed to that healthy, vibrant necromancy of the violet wind. Yeah. So I think Katarina's seen that in her dream, so that's how we've got that information. Yeah, um, she had the uh, vision of uh, Kemri. Yeah, mm. which is far to the north, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, south, been, south. oh, is it south? Yeah. yeah. To oh. the north is, uh, I mean, it's not, it's equally inhospitable, just in a very different way. The yeah. chaos wastes are to the north. Okay. So, um, yeah, we've been trying to find someone who can give us some more information. We've spoken to, um, an elf who is, uh, undergoing some investigations under this, this town. Looking for Elden yeah. sort of remains and uh, secrets. Yeah, there's um, uh, Old Nates is, it has a uh, very old history as being part of the uh, uh, Elven colonization efforts prior to the War of the Beard. And Fognorf has met up with an old companion or an old friend mm -hmm. who's helping in that in that um, task to clear out underneath the the city uh grumble sh grumble shield yeah, yeah grumble, grumble, grumble shield mm -hmm. uh and he's agreed to potentially set us up with a meeting with this wizard the gold wizard mm -hmm. who, who we're gonna uh try and see if they are able to help us any further with this this object that we're carrying yeah um anything else you guys recall you have relocated as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, we was all sitting down having a nice dinner with our, our generous and hospitable host there, um, Mr. Grumbleshield. Yeah. When uh, I, I spied or sensed and then saw these rats that appear to be paying uh, an unnaturally keen interest uh, in what we were doing. And um, mm -hmm. the moment I, I sort of, um, they drew my attention, they scurried away. Uh, uh, Frederick leapt up and dived across the room towards his, I believe it was like a, a dresser yeah. off to one side. And, uh, and, and that was where we left it. And then we left things on a cliffhanger like that. That's so unusual. Yeah, I know it's huh. very uncharacteristic of a, no. a museum's production. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, and, we better and get back to that then. Much, much chat and speculation ensued regarding the uh, yeah potential scaven pestilence that. You, well, I mean, about of course you, scaven you don't exist. Unleash on the world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but you know. <laughs> You might as well say that there's, you know, um, I don't know, boogans that are down there because we know, we all know that Skaven don't exist. That's right. I mean, a, a, a handful of rats does not a Skaven insurgency. Um... Definitely not. Um, you Make. know, and the Black Library has a uh, a very um, storied tradition of uh, Chekhov's rat. Uh, where <laughs> you see one in the first act, pretty good chance you're getting the death globe <laughs> by the third. Yep. So, yeah. All right. Anything else that uh, we missed from our summary, guys? I'm not saying you there included, is, but you included that. Uh, you know, Grumble Shield's definitely up to something. 
Um, he's been very furtive and defensive. That's true. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, very undwarf like. What is going on there? And particularly with his, uh, it seems like his dealings with uh, the wizard, his, mm. uh, or, or, right? I think it was the wizard elf. Yeah. The, what was he? Amber. Was it the Amber Wizard? Is it an Amber Wizard? Then? No, gold. the Amber, I fucked up. Uh, it's the Gold oh, yeah. uh, gold Wizard. The Gold. The Gold yeah. Wizard, yeah. I did say Amber, but Gold Wizard is what it, uh, what right. it is. Because um, the Amber Wind is the one of beasts. Uh, the, um, the thing you mentioned, too, there was a great deal of prevaricating on Grozim's part to avoid lying, because, of course, dwarves don't lie. But that's right. He had been dancing around uh, the issue of not lying, um, and he is working for Orhar, the um, the elf who is uh, from uh, Lorlorn, who is trying to uh, head this excavation thing. But uh, yeah, there seems to be something else that's going on there, but. Um, <laughs> Before we started our session, we were talking about the importance of letting the dice fall, you know, where they may or whether, you know, fudging or whatnot. Uh, last session was a good example of just <laughs> your dice were stone fucking cold last time, guys. You could not get a insight or awareness check to save your life. <laughs> so, fortunately, I it's a I was new doing day. all right on my gossip rolls. I seem, to, I seem to be fairly consistent with... Oh, um, yeah, Jesus. Yeah. yeah, what did you find out from that gossip roll? Because there were some really good results from that yeah there was um yeah he was he was um the wizard was it the wizard that was seen chatting with so i spoke to the barman or the innkeeper at the last drinking hall we we were um uh patrons at yep and he disclosed the fact that he'd, he'd seen a dwarf talking to a wizard and then shortly after that we'd <laughs> we'd come to the conclusion that Grumbleshield was most likely the only other dwarf aside from Fognoff currently <laughs> pretty much currently in this place <laughs> so <laughs> it, it, it sort of uh, implicated him mm -hmm. um, and then we, we were beating around the bush trying to see if he would put his hands up to that and he, he yeah we we didn't we didn't um we we didn't confront him with that information but at this point frederick was sort of thinking out loud going oh, you know there's gonna be all this stuff turning up from potentially from this excavation and and surely people would be very interested in this and you know, uh, Mr. Grumbleshield, you're 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 in you're in a powerful position there, and I'd imagine a lot of people are going to be kind of leaning on you. And mm -hmm. and then he he he, he seemed to start. He was starting. To, I think we got the sense that he was starting to break. His defenses were starting to break down a little bit, and he was he was getting a little bit f more thoughtful about what he might disclose to us and stuff. And that's mm -hmm. that's when when we smelt a rat as it were mm -hmm. so Literally. anything else <laughs> uh, that, that, you know, class transition there this is why we, yeah. you know I'm <laughs> blessed to play with other DMs who are, can't help themselves but tell a story uh, so what um, uh, is there anything else we're missing or anything else we want to add I don't think so then That's all I, can think of. I think we open with uh, back in uh, Grozim's uh, rented uh, place, the place that uh, Orhar has paid for him to stay while he is uh, applying his hydrological engineering services. And uh, we start with Grozim saying something. The lad's gone mad! Because Frederick has gone running over at something. Frederick, what do you do when you run over in that direction? Yeah, I... I um... Being a hunter and, and one thing and another, I, 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 I'm, I'm quite aware. I've got some fairly good senses and instinctively just leap up. And I'm picturing Frederick sort of almost maybe diving, sliding and scrambling yep. 
underneath this uh, this dresser. So I, I'm picturing the dresser is one of those like you know uh, four legged kind of things with the ornate designs on the bottom too that yeah. make it really a pain in the ass to get your hand under there. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So why don't we start with a? Let me get my uh, stats for um, plague ridden rats here. I mean, totally normal <laughs> rats with no illness whatsoever. Um, Katerina, you need to start warming up them dies, Katerina. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, why don't you give us a... Um, I think it's probably a weapon skill. Are you trying to grab hold of them, or what are you trying to do here? Yeah, I reckon so. But he's probably just instinctively, oh, come here, you bugger. Yeah, sort yeah. Of thing. Okay, let's... Because uh, uh, I think grappling uses um, unarmed, not weapon skill. You'll be rolling your... Whatever is uh, melee unarmed skill. Well, oh, where would one find would that? that? Good grief. Let's see here. Uh, I think it's under melee, so there's the, because it's the cascade skills underneath there. If you're not trained in it, then it's just uh, your weapon skill, because I think it's a basic skill. Like unarmed is one that everybody has. So let's turn uh, to grappling. I don't oh, see an arm done, mine. Huh. So I turned, uh, you know, for by chance to a page that has rat fever listed on it's it. It's brawling. <laughs> ah, brawling. Okay. Okay. Grappling. Here we go. And this is an opposed test. I oh, don't have brawling, so I must just be. Yeah, it's a brawling is under melee. But if you don't have it, you don't have it. Uh, no, okay, yeah, it's a set for skill. So I'm just rolling weapon skill, yeah? Yep, uh, just weapon skill, yes. And I got a... Uh, How do you roll minus... just... Uh, what do I click to just roll weapon skill? I don't think I've ever actually just done that. Uh, uh, WS. Run under yeah. characteristics. WS. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, what difficulty, Kev, sorry? Uh, oh, challenging. Challenging. Yeah. Of course. Would you like to fortune that? Um, I think a crit, crit fail on either part. This is where you suffer a critical injury. Yeah. Go on then. I'll, I'll, yeah. Yeah, I will. Fortune point now. So here we go again. No criticals and fumbles. Let's just see. Uh, so it is an impressive failure instead of a fumble. Uh, so you're just jamming your hand underneath there trying to get hold of something and you can hear something squeaking in there. Uh, and then you see, poof, uh, there are three of them that make a bolt for it while your arm is underneath there. And you're kind of like, ah, and trying to get yourself out to, to go after them. Mm -hmm, Alwyn, mm -hmm. Thalknoth, and Katarina, why don't you give us a perception check at, um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, whatever plus 20 is. Average? Average. Average. Yeah, average. Have I mentioned how much I love this GM screen? Yeah, it's a nice screen. Yeah. No, yeah, you have made the occasional mention of it, Kev. <laughs> you know what's going to be great? So our, our um, we're, we're playing uh, West End Star Wars for our annual uh, Star, like, Star Wars diversion in May for our Night Below game. And George is the one who was the... Uh, he wrote or co-wrote the uh, revised uh, and updated uh, Star Wars game for West End because he worked for mm -hmm. them at the time. He also did the GM screen. And George, who never brags about himself, just has like an allergic reaction to compliments. So I have a mm -hmm. whole month where I get to go on and on and on about the GM <laughs> screen he designed. And nice, I can't nice. wait. It's going to be amazing. That's You're going to have to hold it up, though, Kev. You're going to have to hold it up oh, yeah, when yeah. you mention it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh and in fairness it is a really it's one of the best gm screens i've used so like he he clearly knew what he was doing with it so it's not going to be false praise but uh all right so katarina looks like uh uh let's see alwyn and thogna so katarina got says anyone i saw fatigue from drinking in the bar oh yeah thogna um that has more let me ask you this. Have you been drinking since you got here? Am I a dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
So I think you know the end. answer to that question. <laughs> then, do we do we know? I'll I'll do we know if um, what is it? What should I be looking for for it? To, is it a good night's sleep or what is it? Oh no, no, it's usually like an hour's passing. But if you started drinking again, I haven't made you guys uh, make. I already. Gotcha. I try to use the consume alcohol things in measured uh, terms because it's just uh, it is a death spiral mechanic that that kind of comes into play with that. So. Um, and that was early this morning, right? In the game? Uh, it was this afternoon, but like I would say that like, yeah. whatever buzz you had going, it, however much that faded by the time you got here, you've topped it back up because you started drinking like an hour gotcha. before everyone else did as well. So yeah. narratively, I think we just say that, that whatever penalty you had before, it just kind of carried forward with your <laughs> early drinking with an old friend. Yeah, but we yeah, were just... on the um, we were on the legit dwarven brew as well, weren't we? I forget what it was <sighs> yeah. now, but yeah it was on the hard stuff yep 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 um maybe i did already make you guys make uh, consume alcohol checks again i think oh. i was the only oh, one that true. failed oh I think, yeah lightweight i think fognoff made this one so i don't know if that means yeah it. i made this one but yeah yeah so it just means that you're still coasting that same level i think right yeah um so then that's because you're dialed into it fognoff's more dialed into this brew whereas the other brew he's probably just like knocking it back and just assuming <laughs> true my guard was down. That's it, yeah. <laughs> well, not, not that... It was a 12 pack of Miller Lite, you know. <laughs> right, uh, right. Product placement. No, I'm just kidding. Not that it makes any difference then, but I rolled, then I, uh, rolled worse. If, uh, so now we're drinking craft beer. Now That's we're drinking fun. craft beer. Yeah. 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 Like Pl we're drinking Pliny the Elder or something. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's we for uh, Sean company. because he lives in San Francisco. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. So then what... Uh, Let's see here. What um, ba, 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 is it? Either Alwyn or Thognoth. Do you want to spend uh, fortune to re-roll, or are you taking those as they are? Leave mine. Okay. Uh, I, I'm good. Okay. So then, Katarina, you can see that there are it's rats that uh, Frederick is running after, and they're making a run for it <clears throat> to the side. So why don't we do this here? Let me clear the initiative order. Remove all turns. Rats, why does it always have to be rats? Yeah. <laughs> Watch Is that guys... my doom? Is that my doom? Be killed? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> why don't you guys give us a um, initiative check, please? I think it's just in, we're using the rules where it's just your score. Yeah. So. Okay. It's under combat tab. Mm -hmm. combat I'm tab. Ooh, and I've justified another purchase today, guys. Uh, one thing I love, the Imperial Zoo has a oh, table so of all the traits at the back of it that just nice. has everything. I really like that. Nice. Where, where on the combat? Uh, oh, there it is. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, under controls. Got it. I like I like how Sean anticipated that one and bailed me out without me needing to ask. <laughs> oh, the, uh, the initiative? Yeah yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good sheet. I just forget where things are because, you know, we yeah, don't, we don't it's play a very it. Comprehensive. It's a very comprehensive sheet. It is, it. it is. Okay. Nice. Let me get you guys in order here, and oh, let me get a uh, token for Arata. It is see. a good sheet. A There's a lot of it, though. There is a lot of sheet, isn't there? Yeah. There's a lot of sheet. Yeah. There. I'll take a comprehensive sheet after playing, uh, making my uh, obligatory reference to Elder Scrolls uh, today. Um, <laughs> after have your, have your bingo cards ready. Check that one off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the uh, that sheet uh, really makes you appreciate the ones that actually have, uh, you know, full uh, stuff in them. Okay, I've got a lot. Of... But sometimes I like simple games with, with simple sheets that you don't really need a character sheet. Like yeah, we yeah. played we played Badge Quest by DM Dave, where you play like Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. Well, they're called Brave Blossoms, and you sell cookies and sell horror mysteries oh nice and, and it's like just a one page it's three stats yeah you know d6s i think for really like the, the it's thing kind of that, fun but but for a complex game like this i think you need a yeah comprehensive sheet you know it's i think that for uh, some games they just need to be assessed on like how, the length of play they're expected to have right mm, uh, like it is to, to fault a game for having a lack of like you know long-term development <laughs> one of the things i love about this game is the fact that you guys have a long runway for character development but like not every game needs to do that this is that's because this game's intended for a uh, campaign play right mm -hmm. um right that's my roundabout defense of uh wrath and glory for you sean 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's right. It's about design. Though? It's it's design intent, isn't it? If if yeah, you know, a game's not inherently better because it's designed for long term play. If because if that's not what you want, then that's no good. Not exactly. necessarily it, any good to you. Yeah, it, it's having ice cream and complaining. It's not soy sauce. There you go. It's like what do you? <laughs> it's not at all what you're. I right. can't work out I've, why I've I never, never made that. that analogy myself. I've never heard that analogy. What does that mean? I've never heard that analogy. No, it's, it's, I use a similar analogy for talking about things that I like. That like I like soy sauce and like ice cream, but I don't want them together. Yeah, um, yes. You know. So now I want to now I want to try that. It's, well, you know, I, I hear that there's a really good wasabi ice cream you can have. So like, I who the, what the fuck do I know? Wow, wow, yeah. that'll clear. That'll clear your side. I, yeah, yeah I, I would definitely. I, I like. Uh, I like that. Uh, well, there's something hot concept. and cold weirdness going on there, isn't there? Yeah, like, what's going yeah, yeah. on with that? That'd be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's super cold, but it's hot. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. The um, what I wonder, like, because because there's dairy in it, does that cut the the bite because of the base of uh, oh. of the milk? You know, mm. so it becomes flavorful, spicy, as opposed uh, to, like, mm. lingering. I, yeah. I just don't know. Right. Soy sauce plus ice cream, wasabi ice cream. Got you it. expect a full report, Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That is quite um, intriguing. I'm, I'm intrigued uh, but, at this point. Yeah. Um, we actually have an ice cream shop at the well, where I go hiking uh, most often, too. There's an amazing ice cream shop there, too. But they, they have some inventive flavors, but I'm such a fucking basic <laughs> person. That I always get just like the, you know, whatever the plain Jane uh, stuff is. Um, honestly, it's usually mango. I think of it. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm going to have to call the session, guys. I'm going to head out to Bride Creek and get some mango ice cream. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Session break. We're going to have a session watch break. Out, watch out, watch for, out walking, for bears. Watch out for Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. All right, so first, so Katarina, you are up first. Um, what would you like to do? You can um, see so these I things. See the, they, I see them. Yeah. Do they look that like barrel? Rats crazy? in a home in the old world is not an unusual thing. So... Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, this is a nice home, though. I it mean... is a nice home, yeah. Um... Did I mention the rats have bow ties? What? No. Better bow ties than axes. <laughs> There's still time. Oh, I, I should remind you, Kevin, I do have six cents. I always forget to remind you. Oh, about what, what that is uh, six cents too? Can you click on it? I mean Strange feeling when you're threatening to react accordingly. I just don't I don't think Oh yeah, no, that's a good reminder. Thank case. you. Yeah. That's a good I don't think that's the case in this. Oh, I have animal care. No, I mm. no, I don't. I thought I did. Um I'm going to try to go like, over. You may not I do mean, anything. I mean, they're rats, right? They're rats. And yeah, so like, you, gonna... you can feel free to just be like, what the fuck? What yeah. are you doing? I go, uh, yeah, I'm going to like, Schuster, what are you doing? Why are you crawling around the floor? Are you that drunk? No, no, no. The, rat, the rats were listening to us. I'm sure they were listening to us. So, I saw so, them watching, watching intently. Dognoth, what are these rats they're talking about? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of nonsense. Would you like to give us a uh, another uh, perception check and see what the hell they're talking about? Yeah, I'll give you a, uh, an easy or an average uh, chance at this now. Uh, let's see. And I'm I'm fatigued. I got to remember it this time. Hang on. Let's see. Okay. Does uh, it not automatically give the penalty if you've got it toggled? I, I don't think so. Oh wait. Toggled? Did I? Uh, oh no, yeah, because it's in conditions. I don't think so. The no. conditions uh, area. It's a nice. It's a nice section, but I don't think it's mechanical. Oh, okay. Uh, the minus ten for oh, you don't have your helm on right now, do you? No, I, I figured I had it off. Yeah, yep. we're eating and yep. drinking. And... Okay, absolutely. Okay, so you, um, yeah, you see what he's talking about right now? There's rats going. Biggins too. Do we should do anything? I think I stand. Well, I think I dismissed it, thinking I was about to say that you know Frederick. Oh, sit down. You know, have another Stein. You know, this kind of thing. So I think I, if I actually see them, which surprises me, I stand up and oh. and jostle the table. Get, you know, with a with a you know upstart, just kind of a <laughs> brusque, yeah. like uh, there are rats. I I, I say out loud. <laughs> okay, uh, Frederick, what are you doing? 
um, I just recover my arm from under the dresser and, yeah. and go scrambling after him again if I can get another chance to Absolutely. grab out of my wheel. Yep, you just go scrambling over all fours and uh, why don't you give us another um, weapon skill uh, check. Uh, I got... Okay. A one degree of failure. Nice. Oh! All right. Someone's grabbing hold of some rats. Oh, you know what? Let me... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Okay. Uh, I'm checking. Is one degree of failure... Is that a bonus? Yeah, so you'll be a net of two, because you... Uh, okay. Yeah, it's the, the yeah, net. Yeah, because when... You, yeah, yeah, it's to kind of, like, ameliorate yeah. the poor rolling effect. So. Absolutely. Excellent use of the word ameliorate, too. Yeah, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Just happens every now and then. <laughs> it's, like, it's like someone were a teacher or something. Yeah. I oh, know, yeah, you know. Now, Colin's a secret culture vulture. <laughs> Reading fucking words. architecture books all week. Dropping, you know, five dollar words or five quid I, words. I, 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 I never, I never, I'll never forget being described at the age of seventeen by my um, my art lecturer. Described me as a metaphysical poet, stroke plumber. Wow! <laughs> nice. Wow. Yep. I never deciphered it. I'd love to. I, I, I would love to ask. Back in the day, I just kind of was like, oh right, yeah, okay. Yeah. And then spent the rest of my life wondering what they meant. <laughs> 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 I, when I was uh, in my early twenties, this is like I had just started university, and uh, we I had a I worked at a Greek restaurant, and the Greek owner there always called me professor, professor. <laughs> 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 no fucking clue why. Um. So, uh, bah, 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 bah. you won. So you and your opponent are grappling, and your opponent grabs the entangled condition. Okay, which means. Uh, that common conditions. Oh, entangled is not common apparently. Wow, wow. This on page one sixty seven. Uh, go. Uh, may not move, and all actions involving movement of any kind suffer a penalty of minus ten. Uh, can use an opposed strength check. All right, uh, so then you grab hold of one of them. It squeaks in uh, protest. Alwyn, would you like to give us a perception check? Okay. It'll be at uh, average. So you can see Frederick has grabbed himself uh, a rat. Okay, uh, I think instinctively... He will look over at the box or the package just in case they're trying to like drag it away or something just because that's on his mind all the time at the moment so if they're nowhere near that if you're looking over there actually is another rat that is kind of nosing up against the package sniffing it oh, right. that's weird i shall mm. head over towards that rat to try okay. and shoo it away at the least yeah are you just He's trying to like Astrid? scare it off or are you uh... um no i think i'll take a like a swing at it if i can i've got to draw my weapon now yeah i, I think you'd have to so collect I'll and just... then draw your weapon but i'll head over there to see if that at least scares it off short term astrid has Ast the um really <sighs> very inconveniencing condition of uh has a soup bone what? A, a soup bone? A soup bone. A soup bone. Oh, soup bone. Gotcha. Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, oh, God. Remind me at the end, guys, to tell you of my boning knife story. I don't want to tell mm. it on stream, but I'll tell you afterwards. It <laughs> fucked the thing from this week. Um, the, um, uh, so the, yeah, so you're scrambling to get your, your weapon out, your sword or whatever it is you've got. Yep. Okay, rat time. The rat that um, is sniffing the uh, your your um, backpack it turns and bolts uh, for elsewhere in the house. Uh, Friedrich, you've got your hands on one. Um, it cannot move. It's got minus ten to its actions, but its two companions turn around, and now you are outnumbered. Oh. So they're small though. 
they are small, but you are oh, oh right for the number that accounts, right? That's how that works. Yeah. Is the mm -hmm. number? So there's well, three might be enough though. <laughs> that's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. And I knew uh, they were weird rats. rats. I was shooting at targets. My Schuster sense was tingling. Is it only large? Hold on. Let's see here. Size, 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 size. Uh, should Frederick get advantage from that grapple opposed? Was there a opposed test in there? I don't know. Just throwing that out there. He should. Yes, he should. He succeeded on that. Uh, so he should get that as a bonus. I'm going to double check in this. Still, I remember seeing that call, but I don't see it in the. Um, core book in the description for size, nor. Sizes are on page 341, I believe. Yeah, and like I'm looking. And the size the modifiers are on there. Impact. I remember reading that somewhere, but do you remember where that is? Where it counts as uh, different or as multiple targets? For our numbers yeah. that don't I'm going to look in the combat section. Yeah, like I said, I'm on 162 is where the outnumbered thing is. And like, there's a penalty for size. And I'm wondering if it's an optional rule put in for... Not optional, but like in a uh, revision uh, to the rule that was put in with. Yeah, uh, that, that's for like hitting, hitting like a. Uh, yeah, that modifier is for. Three, for range attacks. Three, four, exactly. one has a big size section. Yeah, three, four, one has. So what it says is um, its weapons gain the damaging quality or impact if it's two steps larger. It multiplies damage caused by the number of steps it's larger. All successive strikes against smaller targets inflict the death blow rule. Uh, if smaller, it gains a bonus of plus 10 to hit. Um, there's a penalty for dodging it. Um, they can stomp as a free action, and then there's a modifier to their wound size. Oh, yeah, mo minus 2 SL for stepping up, I guess. That's for defending. Oh, for defending. Yeah, it's for defending against uh, large creatures. Uh, like, I thought that the, the reason they put that advantage uh, rule in the Imperial Zoo was to offset the, the fact that, like, once they're outnumbered, they're just kind of fucked and will never be able to generate uh, further advantage. But let oh, me take, right. Let me take a look in Imperial Zoo. Um... And I'm checking the last sentence in each paragraph. Oh, right. <laughs> the C7 rule. Right. You've Mark learned. Mark bingo cards there, folks. <laughs> I think you get a you get a stomp there, uh, Frederick. I think you need to be two larger, though, don't you? Uh, two. No, creatures that are larger make one stomp at the free attack by spending an advantage. Or kick. It might also only be creatures uh, that get to do that. Oh, creatures. You're, yeah. you're not a creature. But let's see here. Uh, yeah, Grim was the... Hmm. I, I don't see that. Here, I wonder if there's a separate trait. I'm just going to quickly uh, look over, see if anything looks... Oh yeah, you can stomp as a fr by spending one advantage. So you would have to spend advantage in order to do that. Um, mm, 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 mm. You've you've got one to spend, <clears throat> Colin. If I think, <clears throat> yeah, and I don't. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm looking yeah. for like the ganging up rule. Yeah, the ganging up rule is on the same section where in one six two, where the like the size thing is right next to it, and the, the only thing it seems to say oh, outnumbering. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's up. Yeah. yeah. So maybe just taking into consideration its size, that they're still outnumbering, but they get that other yeah. modifier. When they get to, so right now you've got advantage, uh, Alwyn. Do you want to spend that? Or you remember your green bars, what tracks your advantage? Um, or not, not uh, Alwyn, uh, Frederick. Frederick, do you wish to um, so spend your that sheet to try under and... controls under combat tab? Uh, uh, it'll track back to the sheet. Right, uh, right. By, right. With a token. Yep, yep. So, do you wish to spend that advantage, or do you want to keep it so you can have the plus ten to the next contested rolls? I, I think he's is acting on impulse at this point. He's kind of like he's, he's, he's not really thinking things through. He's just in, yeah. in in the moment. In the hunter, the hunter instinct is upon him. So I feel like he's gonna. He's going to stomp. He's going to stomp. Okay. Try that stomp. So then he spent one advantage. Damage is going to be equal to your strength bonus plus zero. Um, and they have minus, this one has minus 10 to resist. So go ahead with your weapon skill. You'll and remember, you make sure you've got, well, you got your advantage track that should track to the sheet. I succeeded with uh, one. Oh, uh... But I, I haven't got that advantage now because I'm spending it, haven't I? Oh, yep, 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 yep. So you can get rid of that. Yeah. Easy come, easy uh, go. Uh, All right. So no, this well. means you're trying to stop this thing, but it's squealing and, and maybe like trying to claw just you. Just you don't get the chance to slam it down on the ground. Yeah. It is still entangled though. So. Uh, all right, so then rat time, rat o'clock. Uh, so they do half damage to you because of their size, uh, but there are a lot of them. So let's do the first one, uh, Frederick. So let's adjust your advantage here and down to zilch. And oh, I put two zeros in. There we go. And. First, the one that is not entangled is going to scurry over and try and bite you. So he's going to have uh, plus 20 because he's outnumbered you and plus 10 because of his size. So go ahead and give us a... How would you like to defend? Um, what are my options, really, on this one? Can um, I... In melee? I Can I take evasive maneuvers of some description? You are... On your knees is the difficulty. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you think you're, I could give you a penalty to your roll or just limit what you can do. And here we go, melee, melee, melee. There's a there's a yep. bonus to hitting those in grapple. I don't know if you've already done that, Kevin. Oof, I have not, no, so it's another plus 10. So I currently have plus forty to my attack roll. It's plus ten to the to the grappler with the highest advantage, plus twenty to hit the grappler with the lowest advantage. So whatever, whatever that is. Yeah, uh, they're equal. So. All right. All right. Yeah. So what would you like to do, Frederick? You could use um your melee to. It's a contested melee uh, skill. And then, let's see here. I think you can use uh, dodge. In Lou, let's say. Yeah, you can use uh, dodge instead to avoid it if you like, if that's better. Or yeah, use... dodge, dodge, dodge sounds good. Yep. Yeah, so dodge go ahead and give us a good. dodge check. Um, I I actually only got one degree of success, but it is a crit success. Oh. Nice. Not oh, quite. Wow. Unfortunately, not a crit. But the first one yeah. comes in and bites you. You um, have to resolve the crit first. Yeah. So the... Let's see here. Would you kindly give us a... Let's see here. So, uh, five is it's to your body. So it sort of skitters up your arm and gets at your, your body. Would you give us a... 
Percentile roll, please, uh, Frederick. So what happened about the one? Did I not dodge? No, because you didn't. Um, remember, it's a contested roll, and I got a crit. Oh, did you? Oh. Yeah. So you might win the number of successes, but he still resolved the crit. Yeah. All right, First. Got you. Uh, 40. 40, okay. Uh, ooh, bruised ribs. So you take two wounds. Bite you in the ribs. And um, all agility-based tests take minus 10 penalty for 1d10 days. For three days. So this gets nice. in there and starts chomping on a, a, maybe a sore bit that... Uh, I can't remember if you were injured in the fight with the mutants, but... Then, uh, uh, so comparatively, so. I... Let's see here. How many wounds was it given? Uh, it was two. It's fine. I'm practicing my German for this afternoon session. There you go. Mm. Okay, beyond that, it's calculated normal. All right, so you got three degrees of success, and I only got one degree of success. So uh, you actually succeeded in otherwise uh, avoiding any injury, but it did manage to get one bite in on you. Um, and then the second rat's coming in. It's going to have plus 60 now. You have an advantage. Yeah, you have an advantage. At least plus well, that, No, that one rat does. Right, oh, yeah. yeah, so we different rat. Fucking hell. No, 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 Frederick did. He won the contest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to advantage now, uh, Frederick. Oh, good point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I got another crit, unfortunately. I rolled 55 Dang, and dude. 44. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oof. These rats. Uh, These better to be using this with us than, you know, a rat ogre. Or, That's true. You know. Can oh, I, I attempt about to dodge Griffin. this as well? You could dodge. Absolutely, you can. Yeah, yeah. And I got uh, three degrees of success this time. Oosh. Come on, Frederick. I got faith in you. Uh, mm. And I've got another ten percent on that, haven't I? With my advantage. Yes, that'll be two uh, degrees success. No, which is not enough. Not enough. But would you like to spend fortune to re-roll them? Um. Or take it as is. I'll take it as is. Okay. Can you add fortune to add a level of success as well? Um, I think you can. Oh, yeah, add you can, yeah. right. Yeah, but I don't know if it's gonna. It, it depends on. Well, tie, a tie, tie isn't a tie. Tie is like, it's like closest to success. It's it tie closest to your score without skill, going over. Whatever. I thought. I think it ties no, go to the defenders in this game. Oh, do they? I, I think can't... it goes to whoever's got the highest skill that you're yeah. checking against. Oh, right, right. We did look that up yeah. like, at the start yeah. of the campaign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fortune's on the uh, GM screen, too, by the way. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I was just looking for the... I want, I was curious whether the, there was a limit on the uh, spends. Uh. Uh, for 170, because uh, some of those ones, you're capped at only you spending... Like, you get one reroll, but I don't know if that's the same for... Here we go. Oh, did he? He hasn't done a reroll yet, though. No, no, that's what I'm saying. He can have, he can have a reroll, but uh, I'm wondering whether or, there's a limit yeah. on how many fortune points you can spend on on uh, that. I. Like, rerolls are limited, but that's because of the way the rerolls rules work. You're spending on fortune for success levels. I don't think that is. So, oh, so you mean like you could potentially spend two and. Yeah, and my, uh, but I think our skills mm. are the same. My weapon skills are 25, and I think your dodge is a 25. My dodge is a 34. Is it a 34? Oh, you rolled a 25. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so then if you want to spend, uh, I got uh, three degrees of success. You have to spend two fortune points to, to no, time one because he has an advantage. Oh, right, right, because you're one higher level right now. So I'll spend one and I'll be be winning. Yes, you'll still take a crit hit, unfortunately, yep. but it means yeah, you won't well, take an actual hit. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll spend that. Okay, so get one more advantage and um, oh, yeah. okay. give us a percentile roll for your crit. And you know what? Take um, four. Okay. Uh, or when a hit location was to the four body. 
Oh, uh, so you take one more wound and you are bleeding. Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh. The rats of the old They're world gnawing into are you. not pleasant. They are gnarly rats. So you lose one wound at the end of each round per bleeding condition you have, ignoring all modifiers. One yep. bleeding condition can be removed with a successful dramatic heal test. Okay. When you remove all bleeding conditions, you gain a fatigued condition. Uh, and I'm sure that rat bites don't have notoriously any kind of infectious quality to them. But mm-hmm. All right. So then um, the last one is the one that is, is grabbing you. So actually, you should be at two advantage right now because you did win that one. And uh, then yeah, no, um, no. this thing is going to try and free itself. So it's a contested strength check. <laughs> but this strength is not great. Uh, and I think you're going to get uh, a plus uh, 20 from the size. Oh, if one creature is two or more size steps larger, which uh, you are because these are small, uh, you, you it can't get free of you. So it automa- you automatically win it. So, Friedrich- so I've got... Adva- I've got two s- steps of advantage and two more. Is that right? Am I like four up on it? No, no, you got two right now. All right. Yeah, because you spent the. What one about more- my size advantage thing? No, that doesn't grant you advantage. That just mo- grants you success level differences. But in this case, oh, I, right, okay. Because you're so you're much bigger than this, it can't get free of you. It can't muscle its way free. It yeah. can try and bite you, however. So let's do that. <laughs> yeah, let, let's. Uh, I think this is going to have to be. Um, a we- melee skill of some kind because you can't really dodge something while grappling it. Uh, a melee skill. Just squeeze it. Oh my yeah. god, I rolled another crit. Jesus. No, I'm, I'm fucking kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I actually failed this time. I failed by... Uh... Oh, no, I didn't. Hold on. I, I got uh, one degree of success. So, no, you're going to give us a... Well, let's use that roll. If you compare 26 to your weapon skill, how does that do? Uh, my weapon skill is 29, uh, 29. 29. So that would be, uh, zero degrees of success, but you've got two advantage. So that makes it, you've succeeded. You're going to get one more advantage and you avoid this thing biting you. And finally, this one doesn't crit you. All right. Okay. Okay. Then. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. It looks like it needs help, huh? Um, it seems like these things swarm, and I mean, like, you've heard of these things. You've heard stories of rats being just, you know, incredibly vicious, uh, particularly when cornered. But Katarina, top of the round, what are you doing? I think she's going to go over there and try to kick one. Just, okay. I mean, she'll, I mean, draw her club as she goes. Like, if she has a club. I don't know where our weapons are. That's a problem. Yeah, I don't think you guys have your weapons ready at hand here. Yeah, at so dinner. she can just go and try to kick one. Sure. She has, she has unarmed. Yep, so you head on over. Um, so it will be a contested roll. Um, I'm not giving it the advantage of numbers because I'm assuming you're positioning yourself to try and not be swarmed yeah. by them. Yeah. So it'll just be a flat. Uh, I failed by th- uh, three. Oh, I, astoundingly, I'm going to reroll that. Oh, my goodness. If we're allowed to reroll that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I think Savage Worlds is the only game we play where you can't reroll crit fails. Because that game is uh, amazing. Marginal. Well, I failed by, uh, but, two, yeah, by, you, by you one. Still, you still beat me. Uh, I failed yeah. by... Uh, uh, I feel by one, so I guess the and your brawling is a thirty-three. 33. Yeah, so yeah. it's higher than this thing's thing. So that's a hit. So uh, uh, four, four four damage. Of damage. Oof. You kick one of these things and it slumps against the wall. Uh, it's not moving again. Okay. Katarina knows how to handle these things. What is this cool. toughness? Yeah, even with that. Um, okay, so then one oh, is wow. down. Um, you get one advantage, uh, Katarina. Oh, nice. And Thognoth, what are you doing? Um, is it uh, obviously? Yeah, weapons are are um, are in some place proper. Is it possible though? I have my dagger in my belt. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll draw my dagger. How else would you cook meat or cut meat? I, I couldn't agree more. Mm. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll I'll draw my dagger. Is drawing free? I think in this game, right? Mm. Always a question. I think so. Let's see here. Yeah, 
you're taking your turn. Free uh, actions. Yeah, page uh, page one five eight. Awesome. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, warning: drawing your weapon or drinking a potion. All free actions. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Uh, grab uh, grab the dagger out and uh, and yeah. plunge plunge into combat. Charge if I can. Um, I don't think you have a. You're yeah, not going to get a charge close. bonus. Too close. Yeah. Too close. Yeah. Run over Frederick. I well, guess. charging in spirit, I go rushing over to uh, plunge my dagger into yeah. one of these fiendish things. All right. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing as with Katarina. Like their numbers are not going to play a factor in here. So it'll be one on one for you and this Rata. I got a crit. <laughs> no, but it's a crit fail. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oops, table. Oops, table. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and roll uh, your attack. Okay. All right. Here we come. Dagger. And uh, I still got my fatigue, so that got to remember that. That's coming yep. into yep. play here. And, yep. Minus 10. Yeah. So it just, yeah, you skewer this thing. Uh, there is still the one that uh, Frederick has his hands on. Frederick, what are you doing? Um... <clears throat> Is there a, you know this dresser? Yes. Is there like a drawer in it? Yep. Could I like open the drawer, shove it in and shut the drawer? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to try and do. So the only thing I will give you is uh, we will make a contested sh check for you trying to drop it in there because I imagine it's trying to hold on. All right. So we'll just make it to, to make it interesting. Um, uh, I failed by three on my strength check. Okay. Uh, nice. not, oh, yeah, yeah, not good. yeah. All right, so there's a rat oh, in, in your the Alwyn, there's a rat in the kitchen. There yeah. is another rat that you were that you'd seen, right? Alwyn, uh, yeah. it ran off into is another that... room. Alwyn, what are you so doing? I can't, I can't see any others. Uh, give us a perception check, and let me make a yeah. surreptitious roll here. Ooh. Let me feign surprise. Pretend to make a note. Ooh. Okay. It is a contested roll, so just because you failed doesn't mean you failed. But as far as you can tell, nothing else. Grows yeah, him at this ash. point. It's like, what's going on? Just sniff about. What, sorry, what'd you say? I was just saying I'll get Astrid. I'll, I'll grab Astrid and get him to sniff about. The Astrid is going to use some, Picks up the soup bone and... and uh, Brings it along. To do something useful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so that you can hear the squeaking of the rat inside the um, cupboard, but that's it. Grozen gets up at this point. It's like, what are you? What's going on? Thug North rat. There's a rat. I'll call out. Yeah, there's rats. It's a city. <laughs> These are, these these are, are, these are particularly malicious rats, though, I think. <laughs> and I'm yeah, clutching yeah. my bleeding wound. Yeah, that's right. You actually yeah. lose another oh, yeah. another point of, of health because you're bleeding. Katarina, do you want to... She's going to pull out her med kit and... Yeah. You know, or grab some, some of... Yeah, the, uh, the, the, the host. napkin or something like that? Yeah, grab some of our host's really expensive napkins. <laughs> it's a <laughs> rental. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, right. Whatever so the challenging, uh, right? Challenging you know, yep. renter thing. Ah, so it's a dramatic test. I think so. Jeez, I'm gonna use another. Hold on, let's see here. It's, it's not contested though, so hold on. Let me just check here. No, no, but I, I got an impressive failure. I don't think I get a bonus hmm. or anything though. Let's see here. Um. I like how we're burning through all our fortune points in this real clutch encounter, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I genuinely love this game. We're like, yeah. what, what are some of the highlights we've had? A game of darts, a fight with rats. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> like, this see. game's amazing. Yeah. Um, and trying to treat an infection I've... that someone has uh, incurred. Well, of the bleed, I get it. I don't know if there's a bonus. I get it. Should look that up. No, there's not, unfortunately. Um, I've got it so on page 123 of the mm -hmm. CRB. So uh, would you give us 
Yeah, I, I used a fortune and I failed. Shit. Not as, not so by as much. That means one more point of damage, Friedrich. This thing, this is a real bleeder. Uh, Katarina, give us another heal check, please. Okay. Eventually. It's going to come, or you're going to crit fail, and then it'll really fuck things up. Well, I, was, I mean, if not, I'll just try to, like, use magic. Mm. Oh, yeah, good call. Well, there you go. There Finally. you go. So it's completely staunch now, Frederick. You, uh, you're, you stop bleeding. What the fuck? Now. Whew. We do have one more wow. thing we need to roll here. Uh, some sort of endurance. Yep. Uh, I just need to check the modifier for it. Frederick plonks himself down in the nearest chair and takes a swig of the dwarven ale, sitting there feeling sorry for himself. Yeah, that really God hurt. Rats. Oh, and there's just like a, a sting. Whatever, like, I don't think it's, they didn't break your ribs, uh, but there's some kind of bite that's just going to be in, like a nagging uh, pain whenever yeah. you, you shift for a couple of days. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so would you uh, give us an average uh, endurance check, please? Is that me? Uh, yes, please, Frederick. You're the one endurance. who got Endurance, this is a new one. I mm. got a bad feeling about the endurance check. Endurance, so there we go. It's truly amazing that even if you win combat, you might still lose. <laughs> oh, right, good. Right. Nice. nice. Oh, clutch. Good. Yeah. That's good. You've been bit by worse things. Uh, Katarina maybe wow. mentions that, you know, we need to be, you might catch a, a illness and you're like, it's not the first rat that's bit me. I We're reckoning in on that Schuster endurance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough as shoe leather you legendary. are. Tough <laughs> as shoe leather. <laughs> what are you doing, the Katarina? Just in case, Katarina is going to do like a heal on him, any, like a magic heal on him. Oh, like, sure. It's one point. Maybe Shalia will show mercy on this okay so going to give us your uh it's prey isn't it prey yeah, yeah. Prey. come on ah, it's too many oh man she's not she's not listening today <laughs> you hear a song or a voice come whispering in the wind it sounds like angels bells and what it says is go fuck yourself <laughs> <laughs> let's see um mm -hmm. I didn't fumble, so... No, nope, so that's, that's right. good, that's there good. There you go. No wrath of the table, yeah. Oh, you can also treat wounds. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you'd like, uh, if you want to give us a heal check once again. Yeah. And this is We're one going where through the whole if... ER thing here, aren't we? We're going through the whole... Yeah, I'll do the magic one just in case, but you know, hope... And, but she does have... If Just in case you do become diseased, Shalia, Shalia can help with that, too. Mm-hmm. Not that she's listening oh, uh, in this dwarven. Is... <laughs> oh, it, it might be yeah, harder it's because it's a critical one. Uh, no, you're not trying to cure, cure the critical wound. This is just to restore wounds. Okay. Because he's down by five right now. Uh, yeah. So you can give us... Uh, yeah, and it's, it's uh, your intelligence bonus plus the success level. So even if you fail, you still may uh, restore right. stuff. Right. Jeez, not that way. Unless you royally fuck it up. Uh, do you want to fortune point that? Well, how much is that going to injure him? Let's see. What's your intelligence bonus? Uh, three. No, three. Yeah, three. Everything's three. So that would be. Let's see here. He, he, he take two points. So I'm going to have to fortune that. Yeah. Um. Because it's five. Fa it's five successes of failure. Yeah, so... failed can. Yep. So I'm going to. I'll fortune point that. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, they, and then they on a, the astounding, astounding fail, or uh, they get a minor infection as well. Oh, come Are you on. fucking kidding? Wow, oh, oh, man. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> this has gone pear shaped. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> you know, Frederick oh. died from that rat that yeah. rat bite. It was terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in fairness, oh, Frederick died from the treatment afterwards, which is very much in keeping with the medieval. But we don't talk about thing. that part. Yeah. We don't. We don't uh, so, Frederick, you actually that. take two That's more points of damage. <laughs> Again, this game's I'm amazing. I'm trying to get that tooth out of that rib. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so Frederick, no pain, no I mean, gain. So you should be down to <laughs> yeah. ten wounds, I think, uh, Frederick. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's not good. Okay. But there's a rat rabbling away in the uh, or rattling away in the cupboard right now. Um, yeah. Why don't we take our? We're already at our mid session break, uh, and then we'll come back and see what you guys choose to do with your your rat. 
Okay. Sounds good. Then, so for those listening at home, we'll be back in about five minutes. Okay, while we're waiting for Colin to get back, I thought I'd bring out. So this is the edition that uh, George wrote of the Star Wars game, and this is the GM screen he made. And it is the thing that's amazing about it. So it's got it's got all the Very like cool. useful shit that's in the screen as well too, but the GM handout that's in here, nothing but. Uh, thumbnail stats for adversaries, uh, vehicles, um, you know, starships, um, a bunch of new pre-gen characters, reference tables. Like it's for a game. It's it's a pretty uh, rules light game as is, but just like one of the best single GM source books. A lot of uh, modern stuff. Like they struggle. I think they struggle with what to put in the GM screen as opposed to in your core book. So sometimes it's like an adventure or whatever. Um, 
but uh, that's a good uh, a good sign. I think the Conan one for 2D20 Modifius is quite good as well. I think the GM kit has that like random adventurer generator thing or hot yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one's quite good as well. Anyway, all right. Um, then <laughs> what? Uh, so you can hear the rattling of this rat in the cupboard, and Grozim is like, "What? What's going on here? Why are you keeping that one. rat in there?" I got one. Oh, good, good. What do you intend on doing with it now? Don't rightly know, but they're vicious and there's something strange about these rats. Yeah, there's just w- they're my, strange my indeed. They're in my dresser. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that, Grumble Shield, but I mean, they. they I mark my words, they were listening. They were listening to what they were I know it sounds crazy, but they were listening to what we were saying. I'm convinced of it. He looks Absolutely over at convinced of it. To be like, what is wrong with you? I'll, uh, I grin and I say, we do a bit of rat catching for our dinner, we do. Things grow so dire that you're eating. It's a miracle you're not sick. You may be infested. Did, 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 did no rats bite you in the past? And I, I nod to Frederick's bleeding, gashed wound over there. <laughs> yeah. Made worse by the medical treatment. Um, <laughs> no, because they know well enough to leave them well alone. What? They didn't leave Frederick alone. Well, get that thing out of there. We don't need that. Or are you intended on keeping it? Well, Seems it'll listen. make a poor pet mind. Mr. Grumble Shield, listen. Under the circumstances, under the circumstances, we were just talking about delving into the, you know, b- below the city. Don't yes. you think it's a little? Don't you think it's a little bit strange that, as I, I mean, maybe it's my overactive imagination. You might think, but as I glanced around, I distinctly saw. Four rats sat there watching us and listening intently or appearing to listen. Obviously, you know, they're rats, but... Yes, the rats. What is that about? I've never seen that before. I've been out in the... I've seen rats. I, you know, I live in I live in Salzamund and we're not in the wealthiest of districts and I'm, I'm, out, in, I'm out hunting in the, in the wilderness... Never before it just struck me instinctively that something there's something weird going on. So I've captured one. Why don't you give us a um let's see here. Give us a charm check, please. And um that'll be average. And it's just high. Me charm it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so he kind of studying you, locks eyes, steps forward, he takes your hand. Look, son, there's no shame in not being able to stomach dwarf an ale. The strange things to some of you. Not all of you are blessed with a dwarven constitution. Now listen, Mr. Grumble Shield. Uh, I understand that you you could you could think that way, but as my companions will attest, there has been many a drink consumed by this here Schuster, and on no occasion has he fallen foul of its effects. And I don't begin to on this evening, despite despite the undoubted strength and um um masterful brewing that it, it is evident in the, in this ale but I assure you there's something funny going on with these rats he looks over at uh, Thoknoth and kind of looks well he did get he, he did get bit good didn't he why and, and since when does a rat come back for his companions I caught this rat thinking that they would all scurry away. No, they turned upon me like a gang of thieves. Who's ever seen that before? It's every rat for himself normally. A normal rat would just scurry away, 
Hmm. Animal instincts and all that. They, they were working together like a team. Look at the state of me. I mean, this... <laughs> Look at the bones! <laughs> <laughs> um, he... Any chance, Kevin, of seeing if, um, if my friend seems genuine about his rat... About about not believing in rat yeah. Well, what you can tell is he so like as Frederick is putting it that way, he is yeah coming to it like you rolled well enough um, just for, for behind the screen. The way I'm judging is the margin of success is how his willingness to to go along with this stuff. So he um, was a little like, look, there's a reasonable explanation for why you're seeing this, but now that you've provided that context, he does seem to be. You can see almost the wheels turning, you know, Thogneth, as it were. He definitely seems to be considering what Frederick has said. And he looks back at you again, Frederick. What do you seem to do with that one? I don't suppose that you speak, Rat, do you? Well, no. No, I, I don't speak, Rat. But... I feel... Having one in captivity, we've got one now. Maybe once I've got a chance to gather my thoughts, and maybe with the assembled um, intellect that we've got in this room, we, we we can come up with something. I mean, maybe we could use it to to lead us back to where they came from, or perhaps there's someone in town that we we could speak to but i feel like having a having an actual rat in captivity as it were that we could we could study m might tell us a bit more Astrid i mean I, I'm, a, I'm a curious type of character and it seems like a too good an opportunity oh, to hey, you're a curious character also. um astrid has made her way over to the dresser and is kind of growling at the the rat which is still squeaking and banging around in there well, we can't leave it in there. What do you intend to do? Trap it? Well, yeah, I mean, we we need to decant it from your, uh, <laughs> from your dresser. Yeah, I, I appreciate it's rather inconvenient, Mr. Guamushio, and ordinarily I, I, I wouldn't prevail upon you to um, provide a... a a drawer as rat residents. Um, we we need a small or large sack, <laughs> or something more secure, perhaps, in light of their ferociousness. Um, a, a stout basket or barrel. <laughs> your, or... your side winces. <laughs> yeah, no sack's going to contain this <laughs> devil of a creature. <laughs> Yeah, a stout barrel, maybe. A so, cask. He looks over at you again, Thognoth. Sean has to say, I like the use of the word decant right there by Colin. That was, that's full <laughs> points right there. That is full <laughs> points. I mean, if you use the word decant and wine isn't involved, that is just, that is, that is double, I think. That's a Scrabble double... You know, I'm just I'm just picturing that silky smoothness of the rat sliding out of the drawer, you know. That's yeah. nice. Uh, Thargoth says, um, I don't know, is there something we can do that uh, could indicate something, um, something's afoot? It looks at like Katarina, like, you know, she obviously knows <laughs> yeah. of such things. You read books. Right. I know you're not a wizard, but you're basically a wizard. What what uh, what about rats? Katarina? Katarina. Carl. Oh, I'm muted. Huh. What was the question? I say um I say, well, is there something we can do to indicate uh, there's something odd about the rat? Uh, Katarina, and I look at you like you know. Obviously, you have you have I'm, knowledge. I am no, I am no priest of tall. There are rats. That's lost. That's completely lost. On <laughs> I'm not a priest that speaks with beasts. If we had an, if we had an amber gold wizard, no, I'm just kidding. An amber wizard, maybe. 
<laughs> um, no, I guess, uh, sure. I look. I, mean, I look. I, I do. I do think. I do think that their bites were diseased, though, Frederick. We're going to have to um, monitor that those wounds. At least I stopped the bleeding. Seems they're trying to gnaw into your heart or something. That's unusual. Yeah, like the well, anyone who's got any training whatsoever, any kind of uh, animal uh, handling. Oh yeah, I go. Al, yeah, I go, Alwyn's the animal expert. <clears throat> yeah, he looks I'll... over Astrid and sort of shakes his <laughs> shoulders a bit. But yeah, I mean, uh, I know animals fairly well. Maybe Astrid could track this rat if we let it loose. And see uh... where it goes. Oh, well, I'm not letting it I... loose. I've only just caught it. Bleed now. It cost me next to my life to catch it. I'm not about to let it loose, <laughs> Alwyn. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, what, 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 what do we do with it, Frederick? Like, what, well, I, uh... I don't know. I don't know. It's a speculative endeavor. <laughs> I just saw the opportunity of a draw and a rat, and I felt rat in draw, shut the draw. Get us some time to think about it and consider what we need to do. Well, obviously, in um, in, uh, in the interest of my uh, in the interest of Grazum, we do have to decant your <laughs> speculative endeavor, don't we? Uh, <laughs> so, where do we decant it to, my friend? Well, I, I I reckon we finish up this we finish up this grog and chuck it in said barrel. Krog, is that Krog you're drinking there? Oh, get the get the rat drunk, and then it'll talk. I think he means <laughs> drain the barrel first. I assume. Uh, yes. Or or and unless Mister Grumbleshield, our um, our most tolerant and benevolent host, unless he has got something about it, the property that we could, you know, um. Bring bring into use here, like um, um, satchel bag of some kind, some some some, some kind of... something of stout dwarven construction. Let's assume for the moment that you can transfer this rat into a more portable version of its prison. Yeah. What, what then? You plan on putting it to the word? Put it on a stove until it talks. I, I'm, I'm thinking maybe just to observe it. Maybe maybe um, its companions will come out to kind of um, liberate it. it. Who knows? I mean, like I say, I, I didn't exactly think it through. It's just opportunity presented itself. There and are I caught a few the things rat. that uh, dwarves particularly excel at. Uh, one of them, of course, is holding grudges. Um, construction, arguably, is another thing. There is another thing that they are quite uh, expert at, and that is raising an arched eyebrow to emphasize a sarcastic reception for a proposal. And at the comment of, I didn't exactly think it through, there is a weaponized use of the single eyebrow that just... <laughs> It's probably bushy too. Slowly, <laughs> arc, oh, it's very bushy. Arcs up as and leaves the unspoken. Oh, you don't say. So, Frederick, what if we took it to a, a rat specialist? Is there a rat maybe a, specialist? Maybe a rat catcher in town that could. Um, yes. It's possible. It's possible. It may not be. I don't know, but it's one thing we can try. A rat so, catcher with a. Uh, a particularly nasty, angry dog, or whatever, ferocious dog. So, again, Grozum looks over at you, thought of like you too. It'll get it out of your dresser, man, dwarf. <laughs> <sighs> It'll get it decanted, manling. If he will get that rat out of that rodent out of my house. And we'll be in support, but bring that dresser outside first. If that escapes, we don't want it running around here. And you Seems won't reasonable. want your dog to be injured either. 
I look at Frederick. Seems reasonable to me. Oh yeah, for sure. What, whatever, whatever. Um, I just, you know, my gut tells me there's a story here somewhere for the, for the finding out of. There's investigation to be had. Who's the biggest of us? I, uh, I'll, I mean, I'll take, I'll, I'll shuffle oh, over I think to one your side. Your strength that definitely is the. Is someone else? Enough. Is there someone else? And get on the other side. I'll look at whoever. Katarina's biggest. got a respectable strength, I think, as well. Oh, oh, I'm pretty strong as well. What are, what are you guys? We've been putting chat what your I'm strength 40, is. 40, 41. I'm more I'm stout than strong, actually. So yeah, I'm thirty-four. Not that strong, I guess. Forty-one. I didn't realize Katarina was so buff. Yep. She is a sturdy young lass. She is. Oh, Thognoth. Yeah. Yeah, it could be why my commander sent me away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you, you only do nothing but working on glory muscles instead of core strength. So, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know. Yep. Um, then it's from the swimming. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Katarina and uh, Thognoth. <laughs> Thognoth's got a bad back. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> back. It's working in tunnels all the time, don't you know? <laughs> exactly. That's what it is. Like all hunched over. So yeah. you are able to bring that thing outside, and all right. So uh, first off, uh, Thognoth and Frederick, you do lose your advantage because you're no longer in combat. Oh yeah. Um, and then I think this is going to be a matter of initiative. So let's make an initiative check because it's going to be whoever reacts first. The initiative for the rat is actually a twenty-five. I put fifteen in because I can't read, and the intelligence is what that was. So. Who would like to, oh, um, let's remind ourselves of how uh, assisted roles work. So we have it outside, Kevin? We did get it outside. Assistance gives plus 10 to the test. So yeah, well, you get the easily, easily. This is, it's a, it's a, like a, you know, one of those like four drawer, you know, uh, things. So it's not that heavy. The stuff that's inside, even with, um, the cutlery and whatnot inside it's just not uh it's not so heavy that it would be uh, impossible for you guys to move or you'd need to make a roll for it to transport it out to the street and i think perhaps some uh maybe a like a, a guard might walk by and kind of look at like and looks away what um who would like to take the lead on the rat catching which would be an um initiative check and who would like to assist each assisting, so I'll say max two of you guys could assist. Uh, each will give plus 10 to the roll. But the downside uh -huh. is a crit fail means everybody might get bit. I'll assist. Okay. Who's taking the lead? Let's see. My um, mine is 33 as well. So, who is anyone particularly. Well, Thognoth, you, you have like gauntlets, right? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that actually would help. It's only because of the critical hits that uh, Schuster, uh, Schuster, Frederick got uh, injured. I mean, I, I have bracers. Hmm. I don't know if that's... You get that natural dwarven hide, too. What's your toughest bonus? <laughs> I mean, I'm in. I'm definitely in. Yeah. It's just a matter right. of whether I should be leading this merry band. Um, uh, I think 33 is the top, just because remember um, what the initiative order was. Al Alwyn's got a 25, yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I'm in. Frederick, right. what are you in the 30s, aren't you? I'm a 20, 27, I think. Uh, okay. uh, oh, no, no. Does Alwyn uh, have tracking? Yeah, 27. Can you track, Alwyn? Uh, I have got track. So I, I was thinking of being on standby. So if it escapes, I can try yeah, okay. and sort of follow it, okay. chase it. Oh, it's going right. to escape. It's going to escape. So yeah, so what, what are we trying to do? We're trying to like let it out and see where it goes and try to follow it. Is that what? No, we're trying to we're trying to just oh, that's right. get it out we're of the dresser yeah, yeah. and what are we to putting a rat it in? Specialist. Okay. Oh, what are we um, what are we putting it in? Uh, you asked for a Pog sack. Not helmet. Yeah. You have a, a sack. sack. Yeah, oh, but okay. it's going to chew out of that. But it's going to chew out of that soon enough. What do you, what do you think, Katarina? You got to, um, any other? Thoughts on the matter? Does he have a box, probably... like a wooden box that take longer to chew out of it? Probably, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, like a, the, like you a little chest. Trap in the sack initially box. and then dump it into yeah, yeah, and dump then the sack yeah, in the and box. Dump it in the box, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's I'll, basically going to be I'll like Baba Yaga's heart. At some point, then we're going to put it inside a duck, inside a egg, right. and <laughs> on an island that no one's been to. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, what role should I... Uh, 
So initiative, right? Initiative at uh, plus. Uh, is Katarina assisting as well? Yeah, I can assist. Okay, so plus 20. Uh, do not crit fail or I get to bite some people. So it's a challenging roll, but plus 20, right? Yes, and it's a contested. So if you get a negative, then it's not necessarily going to be a failure. I have right. rolled for my rat, and I will reveal the number once we see what you get. And I'm putting my fatigue in there still. I will, yep, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. Before I'll spend you spend fortune. your fortune point, oh, okay. let me show you what I rolled. Oh, wow. 97? That's it. Uh, 95. So, yeah, oh. I, I failed. Uh, so this okay. is, uh, you've got it. It's not pretty. Right, it's awkward. It's, yeah, there's it's, a lot there's of There's a bit of a like, oh, get it, get it, get it. You know? Yeah. I, I might even hope that, you know, that... It kind um, of runs around in the desk. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping my friend isn't watching. My dwarven... Uh, oh, he's watching. Yeah, like this is the most entertaining meal he's had uh, in a while. And he says, you can't leave it out there. Bring it in or I'll pay. They'll make me pay for it. I've got it. I've got it. I claim, you know, to all the disbelief around me. I've got it. Yep. I put it in the bag. Yep. And then um, the little box you guys have set, you got that in there as well. So it should be a little bit before it chews itself free. Um, if you're assuming you move the thing back in, what, what yeah. do you guys intend on doing next? I mean, not that well, I, I want to invoke. Go ahead. I, I hand the bag to Frederick and I'll, I'll help move the uh, dresser in. Go ahead, uh, Alvin, since you're outside, why don't you give us a, uh, per, a challenging perception check as well? Uh oh. Please. I've been watching. Okay. Challenging. Oh, I'm going to re roll it. That is right. I mean, it's, it's got to be these the four companions trying to track the, the rat has that kind of driving past a car crash quality of like, I just, I shouldn't look, but I can't look away. Yeah. Mm hmm. No, I've yeah. still failed horribly. Okay. So you, yeah, I, I'm, you, you, as far as you can tell, the only attention you have is that, that one guard, and then he sort of has gone on his way down the street. Uh, your companions have succeeded. They have triumphed over the terror that is one rat. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, With I mean. Trap Go ahead, yeah, Crosser, I keep that, interrupting not you. That, not that I want to invoke the golden rule for side quest, that, you know, every adventure has to have a side quest. Maybe we should contact the local rat catchers guild and see if they've had any rat problems lately. Mm. Taking this well, rat, were... taking this rat as an example. Yeah, well, I think that's that's basically the plan anyway. We're going to find a rat specialist and see what he can tell us about this. Uh, about Here's this rat. chuckling at rat specialist once again. <laughs> I mean, they have they have small vicious dogs. I mean, what else do you need? Mm. Exactly. And I, I think I'll give Grozum a week, and I say you're welcome. Get, get de-ratting your place for you. That's right. I mean, actually, we might get in trouble because of, you know, we don't, we're not guild members, so hopefully you'll pay, be able to pay the fine Herr Rumbleshield. Well, he won't tell us. He won't tell on us. He won't I'll, tell I'll on look us. look at him amusingly. I think as you sort of yeah, it's triumphantly a big joke now, right? hold this up, Thognoth, he leans into you and he says, if you're that hard up for money, son, I can assist. I appreciate the offer, but we're just, uh, it's more a matter of, 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 um, of the group's cure. It's high. I, I grant you we're high on curiosity. It's not so much poverty it is, is as it is curiosity. It's a rat boy. It's, it's, I understand, but, um, we have to humor the situation. Now let's get some more. Let's get some more proper dwarven ale. He shrugs. All right. And I gave it to I gave it to Frederick. I'm not hanging on to that thing. I gave it to him. Okay. <laughs> Frederick has the plagued rat, and uh, Alwyn has the cursed box. Charge, yes. I like where this yep. campaign is going, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so. Alwyn, do you let us know that the rat was a little overly curious about the box? Uh... So the rat was overly. The rat was kind of nosing up against your. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, but that Sorry, honestly, it like, wasn't necessarily the box. It was sniffing his backpack. Yeah, uh, okay. I mean, okay, it probably had other stuff in there as well. So, 
Scooby snacks for um, yeah, exactly. He's got uh, treats right. for for Astrid. Yeah, rat treats. So, um, yeah, we'll finish up. I mean, we'll you know we can continue festivities. Uh, let's fit. Let's 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 continue festivities. What time is it, Kevin? Oh, think I, nice, I think right? at this point, uh, Grosum is ready for bed. Uh, yeah. So he says, "You gotta please enjoy my hospitality, uh, but uh, I must uh, turn in for the evening." Understandable. Well, we'll, we'll um, in the morning. The I, I look at my comrades in the morning. We'll uh, deal with the rat, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we'll find a rat catcher. Get to the bottom of this. You hear well. Grosum chuckling again. Oh, just rat specialist happy to, happy to provide entertainment my my dwarven oh and this evening has been uh he comes over and says to you in, in kazalid uh it has been far too long and such the company of dwarves is a treasured thing i did not appreciate i'd miss as much as i do and to have it with such a friend as you thought Oh, you're too kind. I clap him on the shoulder and say, um, "You're a, you're a sight for sore eyes, for sore dwarven eyes." Uh, I agree entirely. Mm, he claps you on the shoulder. We'll see you at breakfast. Enjoy, please. The um, Orhar keeps this uh, the cellar well stocked, so please help yourself to what you'd uh, care for there. Much obliged. Mm. Thank you all. Truly, one of my, the more memorable uh, evenings I've spent in uh, <laughs> Olden Leeds. Congratulations on your triumph. Burp. I expect your uh, uh, ancestors will speak well of this day. The triumph over the cupboard rat. <laughs> I'm sure they I... will, Mr. Grumble Shield. Oh, oof. Oh. Yeah, I was just thinking that <laughs> eyeballing Frederick's <laughs> big wound. <laughs> All right, so um, Grozen will head up and uh, head to bed. Uh, what are you guys doing? I mean, um, I think bed, this has right? been the first Can time we... that you guys have had to talk amongst one another too, because I mean, you may remember that you had a stratagem <laughs> of getting Thognoth to go early to try and like you know wheedle more information out of. Uh, Grosum, uh, and you guys have not had a chance to talk about how that went yet. Yeah, we've not had a debrief. I feel like we should have a bit of a debrief. I mean, Frederick's there. He's, 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 he's like hunched over, and you can see him. He's kind of like, you know, he's there. He's bleeding through his top. He, 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 yeah. <laughs> he's not bleeding anymore. <laughs> no, he's not bleeding now, but he, well, he, just, he, he just, looks uh, a bit uncomfortable, but thought. he's thinking. He's, yeah, he's there. He's like, hmm. And he's looking at now we've re-put the dresser back where it was and he, he, he's looking where them rats were sitting and he's just, you can tell he's just mulling over what was going on and he's sort of nodding and mm. rubbing his chin and whatnot and get, you can, you can, everybody can tell that he's gathering his thoughts and he's preoccupied with, um, with, with um, thinking through what's come to pass in the last sort of 24 hours because he's kind of been quite involved in in some of that stuff so i feel like he's he's like processing it now mm. um do we do we uh we feel like we're we have a little bit of privacy kevin we feel kind of confident yeah it's, this is uh, one of the upsides to staying in a place like this in in uh olden leads is even places like this are three stories tall so he's probably gone you know there's three levels between you and him it's not a, a very wide building but so long as you keep your voices down i mean i know dwarves famously do not have indoor voices but um as best you can big stage whisper big mm. big stage whisper it's one of the reasons i enjoy doing their voices so much <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i identify with that yeah um i mean should we oh where how are the rats getting in Oh, what, like, we could have a them. look around. We could have a look around and see if there's some kind of, like, uh, like rat it, hole or something. Again, it's the old world. Like, there's uh, probably... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. There's any number of places this thing could get in. A door could have been left open when things were delivered. There could be a hole yeah. in somewhere that's been gnawed through. Um, 
it, you'd be more um you know like there's a reason the rat catchers are so active is because there's just so many of the goddamn things yeah so so what do we think why why do we think the rats were so interested in our in our proper conversation well uh, well fucking off I, I don't really know that they were but that's just how they seemed i've never seen anything like yeah, it so just say, say... to give context to the to the situation too um the dwarves may are aware of skaven but you can't think that every time a, a rat looks at you that oh well obviously there's skaven involved here because they're just so unusual and in this location in particular it's really really unusual um but uh, Frederick rolled really, really well on that uh, perception check. You're certain they were listening. So like the yeah, way you've been role playing that, like just to give context, this isn't a matter of like players using player knowledge that the characters don't know. You're certain that this is a fucking rat listening. You live in the yeah. poverty slums, you know, uh, of, uh, yeah. as opposed to the rich slums, I guess. You've lived in the slums <laughs> in, um, what do you call it? In uh, Salzenmund for your entire life. So like you've been around fucking rats. You're yeah. right to think Think. these rats are acting differently and to be so insistent on it yeah and that's what you specifically said to me as well so yeah. it's like not a f yeah it's not um this is just uh like you say yeah frederick uh trying to role play the the situation based on the intel that he's been given <laughs> yeah so yeah. Or, or me and me trying <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm also, well. this is oh in, my god. <laughs> this is in part to forestall comments about like why do the players all think that there's a scaven? It's like well because the one yeah, character is adamant that that rat was not acting fucking normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's is at an instinctive level. Uh, I mean, the perception that in this game that is at an instinctive level. He's not. He's not thought it through. He's just got a hunch, hasn't he? He's just... Absolutely. What you know is yeah. that you've been around rats before. It's like, you know, anytime if an animal locks eye contact with you, it's a fucked up thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like the... Uh, um, most things will want to get the fuck away if they're making eye contact, especially for, for scavengers like rats, right? There's a reason yeah. you don't often see like, oh, I'm making eye contact with my squirrel, you know? If they right. see yeah. you and whatnot, they're, and you're moving or, or whatever, they're they're going to get the hell out of there. This thing, you are certain it was the four or the three of them were there and listening into the conversation. Mm. Mm. The little ears yeah. were peeked towards that. And... Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Thog yeah, so Fred, definitely... Frederick's probably doing a bad job of explaining it. So it is like, listen... I'm telling you now, I looked at them rats, and no word of a lie, their ears were pricked up, they were looking at us, and they were listening, they were listening to us, of that I'm sure, I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'll tell you now, they were looking and listening to everything we were saying. Alwyn, would you give us an easy, I can't remember, you got uh, animal care, Brain. right? Uh, animal care and animal training. Yeah, give us an animal care at um, plus at uh, at easy. Okay, please. Okay, Cameron Kettery, do you have animal handling or animal care? Um, yeah, I don't have any ranks in it. It's an oh, okay, skill. just your bear thing. Yeah, I okay. just have charm animal like everyone else. Okay, okay. I've got animal. I've got animal care as well. So Alwyn, um, just you, you're when he's talking about that stuff, you sort of. Look over at the box, sitting on the table, and you're the first to notice there's no sound coming from it right now. Mm. Like that skittering and the squeaking and the pissed off sound that it was making when it was in the cupboard. It's not making I that think, sound anymore. Yeah, I think I'd go and sort of peer inside to see if I can see it, what it's doing. It's listening uh, again, I'll tell you. If you uh, just crack it open, I think the first thing you see is a reflection off of a pair of beady red eyes that meet yours. You kind of look at this. Yeah, I, just, I think I'd shut the lid. I don't like that. Think it's it's still alive in there, Owen. Yes. It's, it's creepy. It's looking at me. It's alive and it's listening, I tell you. See what I mean? I told you, didn't I? All right, let's no remain. Rat. Let's remain calm. 
Uh, come on, that's no normal rat. That is a, a is demon more, rat. Is this more witchcraft? Is it something to do with this wizard? Is I was, it a coincidence? I was going to say that too, that uh, we have a few things going, and I'm wondering if there's... I mean, we can, we can ask the question of whether it has anything to do with what we're about. I mean, you guys have probably heard stories of... You know, familiars or yeah. wizards using, um, a or wizards a turning themselves <laughs> into a animals. Uh, I don't think any of you, like, none of, no one's got training in like lore magic, right? So, um, I, I don't no. think anyone theology, no, no. But so no. I don't think you had you guys, you wouldn't know specifics of it, but you've heard stories for sure of like wizards <laughs> turning themselves into beasts or controlling beasts or whatever. I've got beast law, Kev. Is that any good in this uh, scenario, uh, this situation? Uh, it probably speaks to why you're so certain that these this rat is just acting in an unusual way. Because I've heard of unusualness. Like... Yeah, and I mean... Um, or or I, I understand the way that beasts yeah, just Yeah, like, I'm operate. not sure there's anything additional you would know beyond what we've talked about thus far, but... No, no. Um, no. But yeah, like, uh, it, it would also m give, make you more confident that you know how to, like, how rats normally... Yeah. You know, you toss a shoe and they scatter. Like, that's sort of the way yeah, that yeah, these yeah, things yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't gang up and start fighting you. They don't come back to protect others, no. That's a... No. That is definitely an unusual... Yeah. I mean... I mean, that's that's when the, the alarm bells really started ringing for Frederick. Initially, it's like, oh, what's going on here? Let's grab this rat. Yeah, yeah. There's no way that he was in, expecting this to become, hold on, what's going on here? You know, they've all turned on him. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think he was a little bit, he's probably, a, to be fair, he's going to be a little bit, he's well wounded. He's going to be a bit shook up. Oh, yeah. Well, and this was only three that did that. Can you imagine yeah. what would happen if you had 20 or 50? Right. It's a good thing it... Frederick can't hear you, Kev, because it, you know, this would probably push him over the edge at this point. <laughs> yeah. One of the neat things. The... This is He's second. always getting banged up. The last time this happened, he was like getting shot up with crossbow bolts and everything's traumatic for the poor fella. <laughs> One of the <laughs> things that uh, is, is fun about um, Savage Worlds, if you if you really fail a, um, a fear check, you can actually develop a phobia of whatever it is that you're facing. Oh, right, so yeah. our superhero oh, yeah. campaign has two characters who now have phobias of uh, Wendigo because they turf oh, right. those roles so badly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Funny. So Thugnoth will lower his voice and say, uh, do, we, do we think it has anything to do with... Uh, with the package that we carry. Hmm. I don't know. I, I was thinking about Mr. Grumble Shield's uh, business below the city. That's what I was thinking, but... Well, that too. Keep your voice down now. Looks up at the uh, stairway or whatever. Stairwell. Well, I guess we have a couple of dead rats, right? Yeah. Katarina's going to... Well, we can examine them and see if there's anything weird about them. Oh, yeah. And bring them That's along true. to the specialist too. You will want to yeah, be, I mean, Kateri will be mindful of the fleas and whatnot. You want to be careful what you're around because it's not just the bites that transmit, it's the fleas yep. and shit that will be on them. Yeah. But all that Alwyn would say is, but who knows about those two subjects apart from us? You know, who knows that we're interested or asking about them? We've only spoken to two people, haven't we? Yeah, 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 but our our host seems mighty guarded. It, like, well, that's what I'm saying. It's either the elf or the dwarf. Yep. they're the only two that we've spoken to about these. Well, we matters. we just got here, so who knows how many people know about this stuff? But, but what I haven't got to tell our you, what I've been I've been meaning to tell you, but I haven't had the chance. What we're, we're one thing and another. I was talking with the innkeeper, and he he was seeing he was seen chatting with a dwarf, and I figured out that there's only one dwarf he could have been chatting with, the, the wizard. Oh, oh, our host, our host, Mr. Grumbleshield was seen talking with the wizard, but he denies all knowledge of it. He's dead. I mean, I couldn't say that to him because you know, but for obvious reasons, I couldn't say anything. But he, he, he a dwarf was seen talking to a wizard and i've seen only two dwarfs since we've been here and one of them sat with us now and the other one's upstairs mm. yeah he, he claims 
You know, I, I feel I think they've I, I reckon they've I, I, I feel I feel like he's under some sort of pressure or mm. he's, he's he's being threatened. He's, he's being threatened to This presents an interesting situation mm. because I think if Thognoth you don't have kin up here on the surface, obviously, but it sounds like the closest you've got to kind of a like a um someone you'd be bonded with is Frederick. But Frederick has just implied that a member of your clan is a liar. I mean, I have personally noticed that he was, uh, that he was, that he's been acting very funny though, right? So oh, he's, yeah. been, he's been trying to avoid a subject or something. Um, How's Thogdoth feeling about all that then? Is it possible I mean, th- Grozum is a liar? <sighs> because he distinctly, he, he, so he did distinctly say that he, I'm trying, Sean's trying to remember, he did, he did distinctly say that he didn't know the wizard, did not no, know I the don't, wizard. No, I, I don't think he categorically said that he didn't know the wizard. I don't think he did actually, I he, think he, he played that. He managed to not he answer the question. That, yeah, okay. he he. I think he admitted to knowing the wizard, but he just played down how well he might know the wizard. I think that was he played it down. And at the time, Frederick was thinking, "You're playing that down a little bit, like as you know." Thognoth, I think, uh, yeah, I think Thognoth says unconvincingly. Maybe he's forgotten. Yeah, and you guys would all know that thought not just grasping at straws here. Yeah, yeah. It well, sounds like. It, I was going to say, he said he would try and arrange a meeting with him, so he, he must know him in some capacity. Yeah, but, but Alwyn, he only said that after after we, we, uh, we pushed the point a little bit. I feel like we pushed the point a little bit. I mean, I'm I'm genuinely concerned with our with our friend uh, for our friend. But, I, th- I think someone's getting at him. He, he seems a bit. I mean, I, I, I know a few dwarfs, and they don't normally. Am I right in thinking they don't normally talk in there? But Fognoff, correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't normally talk in that language you're chatting in there. I've never heard you. I've never heard you speak it around town, and I've heard you speak with other dwarves and whatnot, and you don't, you know, speak in. Your, your, na- your native tongue there too often and he seems to do a lot of that I, I don't know if that's I don't know but he, he seems and it seemed like he was about to say something about his time here and and and, and what he thought of the place and it, it, the, the conversation went away from it and I was I was I was going to push I was going to press him a little bit more to sort of explain himself but ah uh, you know it didn't happen. So Thognoth, young Frederick seems to have been paying greater attention to the particulars of your uh, behavior than maybe you realize. The boy might actually be listening. He's not wrong. I'm, when was a, This may have been the first time you've spoken Kazali in months, you know, on the surface. Yeah, I... I... With a, with a glance at the stairwell, you know, feeling like he's going to be standing there, you know, that making sure he's, that, yeah, he's been, he's been a bit... <laughs> In the shadows, underlit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding, my friend. I was just joshing. Um, he says, yeah. Oh, breaker! Fur- right, right, yeah. <laughs> he's been a bit furtive. I, I can't deny it. Uh we need to get to the we need to get to the bottom of it. There's something here. I don't know. I don't know if it all connects. We've got multiple things going. We've got multiple whether we've left multiple mugs of ale around, if you will. I don't know. Uh, but we need to get to the bottom of it. Mm. That's my feeling. Oh shit. Well, the morning, oh shit. Morning, should we hit a we hit the rat specialist, eh? And uh <laughs> And then, and then maybe even ask the wizard about it. If yeah. we if we get an audience, we ask a wizard about uh, about the rats. See what he says. <laughs> maybe, yeah. I, I, so, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, well, it's all a bit much, if I'm honest. 
It's all a bit much. I've not done this much thinking in a good good while. Mm. So then, anything else you guys wish to discuss or do before you turn in for the evening? No, just examine those. Yeah, examine uh, those rats if they look unusual or. Ah, uh, Frederick or... has beast floor. So why don't you give us a beast floor check there, Frederick, and see what. Uh... Okay. What uh, difficulty? Uh, difficulty will be average. It's weird. I'm getting a. I'm getting a strange error. I, I know uh, Windows pushed through some updates last night, and I'm getting a weird encoding error. I wonder if it fucked up the Ooh. settings on the OBS. Oh. An impressive no. success. As Ooh. far as you can tell, uh, these are extremely healthy and large specimen of rats. Mm. These things are quite, uh, like, they are well-fed. Uh, they are very sturdy. Like, um, there are some who, um, you know, in uh, some of the poorer pits where you can't afford uh, dogs for, you know, for fighting pits, you might even take advantage of rats and set them on one another. Mm -hmm. um, these things are almost, they're almost like that level of of care they're not i mean they're disgusting and they're they're you know ridden with fleas um but the they're pretty fucking big for for rats mm. not like giant rats because you know the you, you guys are, have heard stories about those things in the sewers of the various cities mm. of the old world um but for normal sized rats these are exceptionally large and healthy specimen these are premium quality rats yeah mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it makes well, sense like, now why you're so, you, they fucked you up so badly. Yeah. I will relay this information to my colleagues. You know, these are these are very fine specimens of rats as rats go. Yeah. Mm. You know, you heard I'm stories honest. about uh, Nolan uh, years ago had a real rat problem. Uh, one where, like, the, the, the way they talk of it is that you'd think that the entire city was invaded by rats. And mm -hmm. this is, if these are the types of things that may have uh, uh, infested Nuln, you could see how this could, you know. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, that means someone's either handpicked them or they're looking after them, maybe. And yeah. again, if, if, if the rat catcher can't help us, maybe we let it go and try and follow it and so, see if it no, goes didn't... back. This isn't the first time you've heard something about unusual rats in recent months either. Rats in was the it mines. A, it was a rumor, right? Or something like that? Yeah. Gossip? Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> and where was that? That was that was right local, right? Uh, that was near the... In the, the silver the, mines. Yeah. So maybe not your specific uh, holding, but uh, it would be your clan. Yeah, we've had, um, and but have we ever, Kevin, have we ever, um, have any of those rats turned out to be abnormal, like particularly abnormal? Well, not in your experience. Like the, the stories you're hearing is uh, like rats in mines is just sort of like in the same way that it in, you part know, the deal. yeah, it's just part of the deal. You'll, you'll find them. That's really the thing you would hope to find down there. Never mind some of the more, you know, yeah. um, exotic Esoteric. and dangerous things down there. Uh, but what you've heard of late is that there's like they're just plagued with them uh, as recently. That was that, that was that curse of Manon that uh, you had heard about. That it's... was a priest, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, disagreement with the dwarfs. Yeah. Someone was displeased by them, and this was wharf rats that come in. <laughs> um, you're familiar with wharf rats, definitely, Friedrich, uh, and which can be pretty, with the abundance of cargo going in and, and the ability to go back, wharf rats are, are pretty respectable things. These are more fearsome than even them. All right. All yeah. right. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, that the rat specialist can, um, can <laughs> shed a little light uh, and draw, draw a line. Help us... Help us reconfirm that these just aren't 
the usual variety of of uh of rats that we we wish didn't infest everywhere that's something it's something sp specifically peculiar if there's some way that he can help with that or, or, or even you know if there's something else going on he would be the one to know right i mean he's he's trying to search them out all the time and if they're around like this then surely he's encountered them it could give yeah, us a tale or two yeah you'd think there'd be some kind of trend it, like it's right. going on right and if it's not a trend then that makes this even more pe peculiar i guess so we can't we can't lose we, we've got to find the rat the rat guy see the rat guy and then hopefully our questions will be answered to some extent a rat specialist yeah someone who really knows his craft well i'm i'm, I'm trying to do a bit of expectation management here fognoff <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not having it. someone's dressed up like a you know a british professor with a you know medieval style hat on and the the uh yeah whatever whatever is the what do you call those things the, the thing that goes over your shoulders the oh, the, oh yeah uh, it's not yeah. a robe but it's a like a, a yeah. piece of cloth it's like a stole yeah. but the religious version yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't. Remember. It's got a. It's got a cool name. I'm it's sure got a I name for sure. Because uh, you know. Yeah. I just don't remember what the hell it is. Like a vestment. Well, I'm gonna go with vestment, even though. That's yeah, not some sort of vestments. But... Yeah. yeah, it's a vestment. Yeah. I don't know. The religious names are always cool. I, I would not even know what the what, like what the how to go to conduct a Google search for, for that. <laughs> What's the thing that you know? Uh, like a priest's stole or a priest's. Uh... Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, it's not I like a, 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 it's not a cassock either, but it's something yeah, like yeah. that. But you know what I mean, like the thing yeah, that yeah, goes yeah, they, yeah. They, 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 the broad category is vestments, aren't they? But they're yeah. like uh, ecclesiastical. You know what we need to do is I think we need to make friends with more Catholics because they would know what this shit is. Oh, <laughs> Having yeah. grown up with that yeah. stuff, they would have known all the accessories. And you have different ones for the different seasons, don't they? They have like their spring ones and their autumn ones and the different. Yeah times they wear different ones yeah it's pretty and they're expensive as well they're oh, like yeah. hand handmade good stuff i yeah. still have yet to actually pay for because i've only rarely had to wear them i still have yet to pay for my barrister's robes uh because i just don't uh, wanna, i don't want to fucking pay for something i'm going to use once every couple of years uh, yeah when our jurisdiction we do when when evidence is being called we're supposed to wear robes oh uh, right. yeah wow thanks uk <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. At least I don't have to wear a wig anymore, so that's that's good. Oh, when did that when did that stop? Uh I could not tell you when it stopped. I can tell you that the only two places in the world that still gown and wig uh are the UK or England uh itself and Nigeria. Really? Mm -hmm. That's quite a that's quite a combo. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everywhere else, uh, most other Commonwealth countries, we still robe when we um, uh, go in, which is, this is a non secular, but I, was, I got caught up in one of those YouTube forward things, and I was listening to The Ballad of Peter Pumpkinhead by, uh, it's a cover by a Canadian band called Crash Test Dummies, and the only reason you might notice, because it was on the Dumb and Dumber soundtrack, so it actually got, like, international play, they're otherwise a Canadian yeah. thing, but in the video, it's funny, because, like, the amount of Canadian content in there is ridiculous, including, there's a part where he, where Jeff Daniels is escorted into the court, and it's a fucking Canadian lawyer, because they're wearing barrister's robes, complete with the little neck thing, uh, and then, yeah. yeah, and then they drop yeah. down a bunch of Canadian magazines as well, <laughs> so... It is very high in the Canadian content in that one. Um, you know, my, my quick search is actually saying it's called a priest's stole. It is called a stole. It's called but... a stole. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, but is that yeah, what, oh, uh, that's a priest thing. Is that what it is for academics? Um, I, I looked at priest. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, because academics is what we're... We... Oh, right. Because right? it was the university... It's probably called a gotcha. stole as well. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. Nice so we've gone well and truly off, uh, off right. topic talking about fucking right. Ballad right. of Peter Pumpkin. We have to but... know, Kevin. We have to know. <laughs> Absolutely. The people want to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so then, what, um, uh, what? Is there anything else you guys wish to discuss or do? The, um... the rat still has yet to start making sound again. Let's make sure that, uh, that box is secure, eh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Locked or whatever. I mean, with that good of a roll, what Frederick would also tell you, like, those things can, this is from experience, uh, like, they can chew through pretty much anything. Given time, yeah. Yeah. The one exception to that might be 
glass. Oh, yeah. Right? Because it's not... Uh, I'll look. say, what are you saying, Frederick? That we have to set a watch for your rat? Is that what you're saying? I think I might be saying that, fucking off. I might be saying that, or we find something that's well, may, maybe even more sturdy than this box. Well, like what? We don't have any. What could be more sturdy than this flimsy box? <laughs> we don't. We don't have any gromrel You're around. You're talking here. madness, <laughs> man. What are we? Well, as far as containers go, what? Uh, what, there's what, a, what about a good stout oak barrel? I guys, there's probably pots in the kitchen. Oh, ceramics. Uh, or or yeah. metal. Yeah. But there's yeah. iron iron pots in there. That would be. I can't imagine a rat can chew through iron overnight. No. Oh, go. Yeah, good good thought, Frederick. Go grab one, but uh, be quiet. Let's not wake him up. Yeah. I'll, I'll make I'm fun of us some more, and I can't yeah. take it. Get like a, co well, yeah, a, a, a cooking pan or, or something, or, um, yeah, just I'll go and look in the kitchen for something suitable, or the, the scullery, or the cellar, or Yeah, whatever. there'll be something in there that you'll be able to, to secure it within um, either iron or uh, steel. Steel? It'd be iron, iron. right? Yeah, you don't make yeah, pots make a, out of yeah. stew. Make a you know, rat stew later. Yeah. So, then, with that, um, yeah. anything else you guys wish to do before turning in for the eve? So, we don't have... Um, he, 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 he did say, then, that um, he would arrange a meeting with the uh, wizard if we wanted. Hmm. He, he did. I think he said attempt. he could try, right? He didn't, he's going to try. Yeah, he's going to try. Tomorrow. Well, well, let, let's let's make our we'll 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 meet with our rat specialist in the morning, and then see uh, see what that brings us, eh? And um, yep, take it from there. Cool. Okay, yeah. So there are um, four rooms that you guys will be staying in on the second floor. Um, Grossum is on the third floor, and. I think each of you, uh, anyone who's got fatigue can remove that because uh, you will be able to get enough sleep uh, or rest to, to sleep off the um, dwarven ale from it. But it's in the middle of the evening. After you've turned in for quite some time, Alwyn, that um, you can hear or you wake up to the sound of Astrid growling. Ooh. And it's that low kind of, not ready to start barking, but think something's amiss. And you wake up and look over and Astrid is at the door. Can I see any light from under the door? No lights in here whatsoever. But Both of the- From outside um, coming under. Matt's rats are not coming under. Um, Astra is just standing at the door, growling. Where is your backpack in this room? It'd be just at the bottom of the bed or the side of the bed, wherever I just sort of put it as I came into the room. I mean, using it as a pillow, I assume. Definitely oh, no. want to have that next to your head. For no, no, that would be... sure. I was thinking so tied to your the... head, personally. Yeah, like, kind of wrapped. Yeah. <laughs> when you wake up, there you did have fleeting, fleeting dreams about something. But uh, so you're a little confused when you're first up. But then your eyes adjust enough to the darkness that you can see Astrid, and like the whole ridge of her spine, the hair is right up. And if she knew something was out there, she'd be barking. If she was desperate to get out there to do something, she'd be barking and jumping up on the door. We're at, I think something's going on, where it's just... Yeah, so I, I want to creep over to the door as quietly as possible. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly open it, you know, just sure. in case I can try and surprise someone or... Would you Everyone's give still us... still asleep? Is that right? Everyone else is still asleep, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys are all in separate rooms. So, oh, we're yeah. in high class, high class place. <laughs> Thought that's like I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm lonely. <laughs> I haven't had my own room for I don't know when. Is 
cuddles for Mr. T. Um, would you give us a stealth check, please, Alwyn? Is that average on this one? And, uh, so we're at uh, challenging. This is contested. Oh, okay. Hmm. I think we might try that again. Okay. Chamber pot goes flying across the room. Ah, oh, yes. And hits the dog. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, this maybe lighting a candle might have been better. I uh, would you give, give us... away myself. Um, give us a perception check, will you? Uh, is this again going to be challenging? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And again, remember, it's those are all contested. So even if you're rolling failures, don't worry about like that. Doesn't necessarily yeah, yeah. mean some of the shit's going to be comparing uh, degrees of failure. That's so that's not pretty a, good for. Yeah, that's really not. That's not awful. But you sort of stop. And while Astrid has stopped growling, and you can see uh, her head is turned in your direction, there's no sound of anything outside. I will just open the door. Okay, so you run for ah, and you open the door. And look each way. I mean, it's pitch black. But do I get any? Do I hear anything? As I sort of, as soon as I've opened it and sort of go silent. It's been anything? silent the whole time, as far as you can tell. I will, I will grab some sort of light source then. Yeah, it'll be a candle or uh, something or a... Um, In the room. Yeah, so you light that up. You come outside. Astrid is outside and uh, doing the sort of like slow survey of the door of the, uh, the hallway. Um, and then has gone up and it's kind of nuzzling at... Uh, one of the doors and you're trying to remember where everyone went you think that's Thognoth's room mm -hmm. she looks back at you you step outside the whole house is in complete darkness silence from everywhere you can hear two things from this floor there is the um the it sounds like a um, an idle uh, animal making a sound of uh, Thognoth's growling. That's weird. I got sorry, non secondary. I keep getting the same error with uh, of like encoding overload. I've never got that in. Hmm. I don't know what's going on. Uh, thanks, Windows, once again for. Actually, give me one sec here, guys. I'm just gonna check something. One of the things they did, because you've got um, fucking Edge, I noticed that Edge is constantly chewing up CPU, unless you... Hmm. Um, kill it? Yeah, unless you specifically kill it. Uh, so sorry, let me... Think I'll move this off the screen here. There we go. Um... I'm just curious if that is a thing that's chewing up a bunch of CPU. No. I don't know whether that would necessarily overload the encoding. You'd have thought in this day and age of high technology, instead of getting an error message, you'd get a solution message, wouldn't you? Yep. Right. That would be... Uh, oh, so your computer's doing this. What you need to do is this to rectify right. the problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything that is... Uh, that requires you just, a, you just a get subscription. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, for you just sure. get yeah, you just get a message. Sucks to be you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Heckles you. Yeah. Too bad, motherfucker. Um so what um Yeah, so what what do you can tell out here? There's there's no sign of uh of anything out here. Um would you give us a track check, Alwyn? Uh, this will be at um, challenging as well. Then the last one. Yep. That's again a rubbish. Let's see. Come on, big money. No. 
so you are making your way forward and unfortunately that means I get the drop on ya so mm. give me a sec here you're not gonna be able to defend against this hopefully it's a cobweb yep it just uh yeah Ooh, creepy thing that hits here okay and Give us a uh, perception check, please. Challenging once again. Hmm? I've got that as well as a talent, just in case that's any help at all. Oh, yeah. You may make... If there's a surprise situation. Yeah, you may ignore a surprise, which is modified by circumstance as normal. That last sentence, that's what fucks you. <laughs> Welcome to my world, the C7 publishing role. Put the important shit in the last <laughs> sentence. Uh, so go ahead and so give us a perception check, please, first uh, challenging, and then we'll all incorporate that in as well. Okay. Okay. So now give us a challenging perception check for your combat aware. All right. So you're tell us what's what's going on in the hallway as you're kind of looking around. Astrid is sort of nosing up against the rumbling. Sorry, I got distracted by the CPU thing. Um, <laughs> what, what you're hearing is the sound of Fognoff snoring and upstairs yeah. grows him snoring. Then you sort of can see Astrid is nuzzling at the door, trying to push it open and it kind of looks over at you in, in the the candlelight. What do you do? Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to put it together, you know, what Astrid's trying to communicate to me, looking around to see if there's any sort of little grubby rat footprints or anything. And Nothing you see. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm assuming. And uh, he's not getting the picture and he's making a bit of a, a mess of it by the sounds of it. I'm trying to work out what's going on. Uh, and he'll start to walk towards Fognoff's door to investigate further so you are doing so when you hear it's a weird whistling sound and something sinks into the door and it looks like a it's a four pointed star and at first you think it's metal, but metal doesn't have the weird greenish quality to it. And the subtle glow and little flecks, almost like embers coming off, burning paper, drifting away. And it's sunk almost entirely into this hard wooden door. And it's only after that that you realize Someone just threw that at you. If this had hit you, it would have embedded it itself within you as mm. deeply as it is in this. The uh, thing itself is about um, maybe three and a half, four inches across, equidistant across each way, meaning if it had embedded itself in you, it, depending on where it hit, most certainly would have been a lethal blow. Why don't we roll initiative here? So currently Alwyn, oh, and Thognoth, why don't you give us a perception check at challenging, please? Let's okay. see if you've been disturbed by this. It's gonna get disturbed in a minute. Okay, and let me grab here. Oh, it'll only be Alwyn at this point, guys. 
Yeah, sorry, I did. I should have uh, made that clear. Huh. Uh, once you wake up, uh, well, we'll see how how did. Um... Oh yeah, Thognoth, go ahead and add yourself to the initiative order. You're awake now. Nice. <laughs> um, let me. Yes, here we go. Oh, I don't have a directly on point image for this, but uh, I think you have a suspicion of what might be coming here. You can hear this squeaking and chittering from behind before it uh, takes action. Let me see here. And who is this? This is Alwyn? Alwyn, yeah. Yeah. Actually, you rolled quite well. So, Thognoth, you wake up. Uh, do you have dark vision? I yes. Can't, I can't remember, yeah. Uh, then with a four, yeah, impressive success. Uh, let me roll. You are able to see um, that there is one of these things lurking in your room, and in its hand is one of those vicious stars as well. The baleful glow while you have not been around it before uh you were certainly as a dwarf aware of the perils of handling that exotic substance that is warp stone the weapon itself is made from that corrupted ore let me add this in here their initiative. Holy smokes. All right. Then they are up first. So, Thognoth, that thing in the door has seemingly startled this one. And while it, it has a vicious looking blade in its other hand, uh, it seems to have had that one out, that star out as a precaution. And with the thunk of it, it looks over at the door the same way you do from your bed. Uh, and it seems panicked and kind of eh, skit, it uh, chitters and is about to um, uh, throw something. Die, die, it says. And it's going to throw this thing at you. Would you like to try and dodge? I would. I mean, I'll, I'll probably you know, maybe try to throw myself off the uh, bed yeah, know, yeah. in the other direction or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, so then uh, go ahead and... Um, Ooh. I'm more I'm more stout than quick. We'll see how this goes. I'm not a yeah. big dodger. We'll no, see no, how. you're. So this is uh, I got um, four degrees of success. Four success. Out of trouble. This is uh, challenging. Uh, challenging. Yeah. Oh, you got uh, still two fortune points. You want to. Yeah. Porch point that? It's time. It's past time. Yep. All right. Challenge. Oof. Negative. Okay. Uh, all right. So that means Thognoth, this thing sinks into you. Let me just see if there's any deleterious effect from warp stone. Can't uh, imagine. Not extra damage, but corruption chance. Yeah. Well, also they have an AP. Warp forged uh, weapons have a greater AP, which doesn't matter. You're not mm. wearing anything anyway. But right. Um, all right. So that means you are taking. Uh, that is eight. Ooh. Uh, that is 16 points of damage before your toughness wow. bonus. All right. 
Uh, toughness bonus is four. So you take 12 points of damage Ow. as this thing sinks into you. That is rather serious. Yeah. And then Alwyn, this thing is going to... Uh, something comes charging out of the uh, darkness, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. This is a... And smell, the fucking stink of this thing is really uh, impressive once it gets close in. There's a f musky funk about it. And as it comes in, it will bring its blade around. Oh, gosh. It's got... Not carrying a blade, what you think of is it's carrying in some strange way. It's actually affixed to its little claw. And it's going to try and get you. Would you like to defend? Uh, well, I assume I haven't got any weapon out, so I would go... Oh, I think you could use your weapon it. skill. Uh, if you've got a basic, you've got that... Ah, if it's better, you can use your um, candle holder to block or to parry. Well, my basic's definitely better than my dodge. Okay, yeah, if you want to use that, go right ahead. Yeah, I will try that. Definitely. Okay. Basic. Uh, I got... Oof. Uh, four... Uh, oh, I failed. Five degrees of success. Okay, I, you owe you no fortune left. All right, no. so then... That is... Uh, five... What's your toughest bonus? Uh, four. Four. Uh, so then... That is 11 points of damage. Oof. Down and out. Uh, so, hold on. I think you... Would he have recovered any? Because he was really injured. Uh, he was injured, but he was still uh, trying to recover. Um, this did happen in the middle of the night, though, so why don't we put yourself at zero? So you're at your wound threshold, effectively, right now. Uh, no crit okay. hit yet, but when you take your next point of damage, that'll be the case. Both yep. Thognoth and Alwyn cry out. Would both Frederick and Katarina, would you guys give us a easy perception check, please? Oh, and the rats have advantage, or the Skaven have advantage. Nice. Yeah. Katarina, not only are you aware of what's happened, you recognize it as the sound of battle right outside your uh, room. Uh, right. And Frederick, you're aware that someone's being attacked outside. You don't know necessarily where it is, but you've heard a cry that's woken you up. So you guys can roll initiative and add yourself to the tracker. Okay. Awesome. So two of our heroes quite badly injured. Hmm. Two Skaven assassins inside the home of Grozum Grumble Shield. And one dog yet to act. I guess we'll see what happens next yeah. in two weeks' time. So for those uh, listening at home, thank you so much. for. Oh, and you guys get your <laughs> usual XP. Is it 100, 150, 100? 100. 100. Uh, yeah, 100. 100. Yep. Okay. Nice. At least our fortune will uh, reset. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is a, an upside to ending on a cliffhanger. You get to come in. I think the only game where we've ever done that where you uh, don't refresh them is uh, a long, we had a really long fight in um, Savage Supers uh, where we didn't uh, let them refresh because, but I mean, they were. Um, what he called. Uh, they were fighting a whole jail's worth of supervillains. But in any event, uh, for those listening at home, thank you so much for joining us for our session 14 of our Salt, Silver, and Sin campaign. Guys, this has been, you know, the, uh, this is the first time I've had Skaven appear on screen in a Warhammer Fantasy game. Ugh. I've been no wanting way. to have, really? I love the Skaven too. Uh, yeah. I absolutely love him as, as adversaries. So, uh, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's really funny because it, it's just like a, to me, like it's an inside joke 
about how people don't believe Skaven exists. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's really hard to sometimes not meta game. You know, when you got suddenly, yeah, that's where I wanted to suddenly really, sentient rats. I wanted to comment that like what what we were seeing was really good role playing on on your you know on Colin's part and from the rest of you guys, and it wasn't players using like well, of course it's fucking Skaven. You know, uh, but thing. you don't know. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, you're right. Like, could be a witch is familiar. You know, amber amber wizards can control animals. Yep. Yeah. 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 So there are other reasonable ones, Precept but because tall. he rolled Precept so well, tall. right? Yeah. yeah. Then. Cool. Oh my goodness. I, I reckon you should tell us where we can get those just, rare and out of print books, say, Kev. Yeah, I just <laughs> want to say. So, uh, as is always the case, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns regarding the session, the campaign, or the game we're playing, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I'll endeavor to reply in a timely fashion. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also a link down below to our friends at Noble Knight Games, uh, the preeminent unionized retailer of hard-to-find and out-of-print RPGs in North America. Not only do they have a great selection of new role-playing games, board games, and card games, they have an unmatched selection of hard-to-find and out-of-print RPGs, uh, including a bunch of stuff. Uh, I filled my Warhammer Fantasy 2nd Edition collection uh, thanks to them. Um, yep. There are a number of, uh, if they don't have something in stock that is uh, listed in their extensive catalog, you can put it on the want list and they'll send you an email when it comes in. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't, the discount code that is listed in the description of this video has expired and I haven't had a chance to get an updated one too, but we uh, will have an updated discount code shortly. And uh, if you check one of our more recent videos, it should be listed there. If you enter that code at checkout, you will save yourself 10% on your purchase. Uh, there is also a link down below to our, uh, to something called here. Uh, Heroes Save Villages, which is the charity fundraising campaign that we run on the channel. It benefits the SOS Children's Villages International Charity, a really incredible organization active in over 130 countries, benefiting over 80,000 orphaned and abandoned children. Um, all donations that go through that link go directly to them. None of it goes to the channel or any other middleman. It just goes to help out the kids who benefit from their services. And um, as a small way of saying thank you, uh, the first half of this year, we have been running charity sessions uh, selected by the donors from last year. And later this afternoon, we'll be playing the next of those. Uh, Carl uh, very generously donated last year, and uh, he has requested a game, a session playing Monty Cook's Outstanding Cypher System. So I am uh, really excited to do that. We have, uh, I have something written uh, using Shanna Germain's uh, source book, We Are All Mad Here, that uh, she wrote for it. And there's some, um, yeah, we're playing that this afternoon. Then we have a bunch of other games, but we also have a way of thanking donors from this year. Uh, this year, uh, if you've donated $25 or more since June, uh, January 1st, 2024, head on over to the Dungeon Musings uh, Charity, Dungeon Musings uh, Discord channels, Discord servers, Charity Initiative channel. It's gonna be a fucking stellar session if mine this sharp uh, today. Um, the to, to uh, cast your vote for our two Star Wars sessions that we're playing in on uh, May 4th. Um, we have two sessions that we'll be playing uh, and so far the donors uh, have been voting on what era we're playing in and what kind of heroes we're playing. They still have to vote on what villains we'll be facing and what role playing game we'll be using. There's a number of, I held up the West End game Star Wars earlier, but there, we're gonna have a number of ones on offer. When the uh, winner of each of those uh, rounds of voting is going to be the main session, the four-hour one, and then the runner-up will be the three-hour one earlier that day. I'm going to try and connect the two, uh, but um, yeah. If you've donated $25 or more since the start of the year, head on over and cast your vote for that. Uh, in addition, uh, we will be having what we did last year where the donors will be helping us uh, shape the other charity sessions we're playing in the second half of the year. So you will be able to vote for those as well. So if you have donated since June, uh, January 1st, be sure to head on over and cast your vote. Voting on the heroes ends tomorrow uh, at the time of recording. And then we'll having next week, we'll be kicking off the voting for what villains we'll be facing. Um, the last thing I will say today is a huge thank you to our stalwart, grim, and perilous heroes. So, uh, Darren, Sean, uh, Colin, and Carl, thank you so much for playing today. And John, we're, we're thinking of you too. Hope your day is a good one. John was too, uh, unfortunately had other commitments he had to get to, but uh, we were thinking of you, buddy. Um, we'll be back in uh, Sol's Moon to see what... Uh... Alan, I don't mean to alarm you, but shouldn't there be more red on that bar? Hmm... I think Nia's just not updating properly. You need to switch screens. Mm, got it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. I will check for that. Roll 20 era. Yeah. And Thona, didn't you have more red bar before? Hmm. We'll be I back. 
I, I, Thognoth is never sleeping in the in the alone in the room again. <laughs> sleeping in an iron lung from now on. We'll be back in uh, two weeks' time to see what happens next. But until then, we hope that we gave you a few hours to take your mind off the troubles of our world and think about the troubles that our heroes are uncovering as they trap rats. Who would have thought that that would have ever gone wrong? Um, but until then, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and happy gaming.